Motu Madness continues into March with box art reveals, new teases, and we are going to recap Hasbro's WonderCon panel reveals and so much more with our special guest, Brick Something, on today's Toy Habits Live. And before we go live, smash that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a beat. Hi, everybody. I am the Toy Sorceress, and we have a special guest for you today, Brick Something. Say hi, hey, Brick. what's going on, folks? Sorry, you said we're ready hey. to go, and I was like not paying attention, so I was like, oh, wait, we are starting. <laughs> hi, everybody. We're on we're on the air, and you're watching Toy Habits Live. How's it going, Brick? Oh, it's going well. I'm totally a professional and super happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. It's a beautiful day up here oh. uh, on the northern end oh. of the state. So so things are good. Life is good. Can't complain. I'm happy to hear it. Yeah, the weather finally is cooperating with us down here in SoCal as well. It's beautiful and sunny and warm. Uh, I can't say so much for last weekend. I actually did spend last weekend with Michael at WonderCon together right. in person. He was staying with us for the weekend, and we went out there and had a great time. But the weather was horrible. <laughs> we went through torrential rain to get out to Anaheim, but we had a wonderful time. And uh, we're going to recap on today's show what we saw there. Thank you for filling in for Michael. He's actually busy this weekend with um, a bunch of family plans, so he couldn't make it. But Brick nicely um, stepped in and uh, is here to co-host with me so i really appreciate that um and we have some uh, really great things to talk about today we're going to talk about some motu some gi joe uh and some other stuff so have a lot of great things to go over i had breaking news just before the stream so apologies that we we're a few minutes late i was literally uh pressing an article right before we went live on the air um so that is why we started a few minutes late but before we dive into the news let's go ahead and say hi to the chat and see who's all here all right we got crew member damian restory uh crew member bigum here dwight is here extender is joining us crew member frank priors in the house some guy named brick something's also in the chat <laughs> uh, king panther is joining us too crew member joe coleman which we had the joy and pleasure of hanging out with at wondercon last weekend in person is also joining us welcome joe that was a lot of fun Brennan Barnes, awesome and amazing crew member, is also joining us. We got Ryan Cole, amazing crew member as well. Um, I thought I skipped someone. Here we go. Uh, Jer, Jer Bear Man Cave is here. We got Toy Bounty Hunter. Crew member JT Brunick is joining us. Toy Hunters Hollow, amazing friend of the channel. Awesome yes. Instagram page. Follow Toy Hunters Hollow. Um, Bay Area. Yeah, he's in the Bay Area. Woo -woo. And I know you guys run into each other quite a bit up there. Uh, we got crew member Michael Herrera here. Aaron is also joining us. Mythic Dolphin. Uh, crew member podcast from the pit. Um, crew member Hega, and I'm not going to screw up the rest of your name, is here. Crew member <laughs> Payne's Toy Snuffles <laughs> is joining us. Anthony Aguilar is also here. And so many more. Um, and before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and say hello to our ever-growing Toy Habits crew. And it got so big <laughs> that uh, I, sorry, and I didn't hit present. <laughs> um, it got so big that I could barely fit everybody's name on here. Ooh. We got almost 100 Ooh. members in the crew. Uh, and that's why they're so tiny. So my apologies, I'm not gonna go through all the newest members who joined but everyone who has joined, thank you so much for your support. And all of our existing crew members, thank you for your continued support. You guys are incredible and amazing. And we are so ever grateful for all of you. And look at this. <laughs> Ryan Cole has now given oh, score. Toy Habits memberships. So 10 of you, you out there. You get a membership. Are, you get a membership. Get 10 more memberships. You get a membership. And you get a membership. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Ryan. That was super nice of you. And had a few more crew members sneak in here. We got Neil Hunter Hyde joining us and crew member Robert Allison joining Some of the OG crew is here. Good to see you guys. Um, 
we got a lot of news to go over. And um, Brick, I know you've been following um, the Motu news, all the March Motu madness that hit us um, a week or so ago. Uh, what was it the thing that you were most excited about that was revealed? Uh, I think for me, so I mainly do Masterverse, and that throne for me was a big deal for a couple of reasons. One, the Alcala head, like that was like the thing I've oh, been yeah. hunting for <laughs> for a while to kind of replace some of yeah. my uh, Skeletor heads. And I've bought some third party ones, but that one is like straight out of the mini comics. Exactly. That's awesome. The kid. And then the idea that there's a throne, right? This is effectively like the yeah. first, other than Battle Cat. The first sort of like big piece, whether it's not a vehicle mm -hmm. exactly, but it's something yeah. new and different from Astroverse. Um, so that that's yeah. my and there were and I know I'm naming one of like many great things oh, that no, came great. out. So, but that's <laughs> the one that stands out. So, um, mm -hmm. so yeah, pretty excited about it. Lights, everything, that's, so cool. That's that's awesome. Like, you know, I I was over the moon when I saw. Um, Battle Cat and Prince Adam, that two pack from mm -hmm. the cartoon collection. It's so cute. Because yeah. those look so great. They look so cute. And, uh, you know, just when I saw that first image of like Battle Cat, like kind of jumping onto to Prince Adam, and I'm like, yeah. this is straight out of filmation. Yeah, that one. I, uh -huh. I fell in love. I ordered two of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with the second. Maybe I'll just keep it in box. But um, I'm super excited about that. And you know what's really funny that we both. Yeah. We both said things that basically like are super long awaited. Like how long is it? Yes. We, you know what I mean? Like, I think there's been sort of an attempt in a call ahead, but like, eh. but both of those things, but the filmation one, especially like we haven't had a cringer, a posable cringer. So yes. Yes. yeah, it's an amazing time. For... <laughs> Absolutely. And it's funny if you go back and take a look at um, our, you know, cartoon collection wish list. How many mm -hmm. times have I had a Cringer and Bal <laughs> a Cringer and Prince Adam two pack on there? Like probably every time we made that list, I've been begging for it. So somebody in Mattel heard my wishes; they were sick of hearing me. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> and, and well done, then Toy Sorcerers. Congratulations, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Because I was like, I totally need that. That that is going to absolutely complete the. Uh, cartoon collection shelf and you know i i've got my cartoon collection sitting on the shelf right in front of me and as i fill this in it looks amazing you know like all of these characters coming together you know all of like he um skeletor's evil warriors you know, his his tight crew and then you've got you know our main heroic warriors that are out right now they look so great together and i can't wait to see what else is coming down the line um it's Super, super exciting. Uh, I'm just going to say hi to a couple more people that snuck in here. We got Baroness of Toys, amazing friend of the of the channel is here. Hello, Toy Havoc Sweets. Good to see you. Man of Action also snuck in. Laser Eye 21. And crew member Rob 2023 is also here. So wanted to say hi to you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in to all of this amazing news. We're going to start with Motu first because we had a lot of stuff happen. So um, I'm going to go with uh, <laughs> the the news that broke this morning, and I'll save the best for last <laughs> that we just published right before the stream. But uh, we did get the Necroconda uh, official box art by Roy Juarez and his amazingly talented team. I mean, have you had a chance to take a look at these new uh, images? I did. And it's always that game of like, what, what's in there? What can I find? But also yeah. just like amazing dynamic artwork. I really love the, the origin stuff, especially because it's super nostalgic. Yeah. I lo love the Masterverse packaging, but this stuff is, um, they're fully posed up in, in scenes, right? Masterverse is often just a portrait. Yeah. So uh -huh. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I, th I think this, this, this character in particular, um, looks great. He's made of translucent plastic. He has a mm -hmm. soft goods cloak on him, no less. Um, you know, Obi Wan Kenobi style that goes over <laughs> his head, which is very cool. And it and it it's... turns out Necroconda, I know, is an army builder. And yep. by the looks of it, um, and if you go to toyhabits.com, you can see all these amazing high res images in person. Um, but it turns out he's an army builder, and we'll go ahead and take mm -hmm. a look at. There's a 
an image there of like a you know like a text graphic, but um, it looks like you know initially we thought all of these snake men were going to be part of uh, Walmart exclusives. And sorry, I'm just trying to find the uh, the graphic. Here it is. So similar to what came with Lady Slither's packaging, which was also a Mattel Creations exclusive, um, yep. Necroconda has, you know, and this looks like it's probably like an outer packaging type of graphic that's probably on the outside of the box. Um, but there is this text and explains here that, um, you know, that every snake man soldier sheds his skin prior to serving his army. And basically that uh, Necroconda is a soldier in, you know, King Hiss's snake man army, um, you know, kind of, I guess, an undead or reanimated <laughs> type snake man. But to me, you know, and we haven't gotten confirmation per se that this is a Mattel Creations exclusive, but by the type of packaging um, and seeing this additional art, you know, it kind of tells us this is going to MC. Um, first of all, what do you think of that? And secondly, putting an army builder on Mattel Creations exclusive What's your thoughts, Brick? <laughs> um, one, one. As far as the character, I think it's really cool. It's kind of nasty if you think about it. I mean, they're they're yeah. actually not like. It's weird. They say this sort of like. Um, I don't. They're not reanimated soldiers per se, but it's like you know, if a snake sheds its skin, you're essentially yeah. like making beings out of these things, these golem <laughs> or something. Which I think is super cool. Um, I don't know how that works exactly, but I think it's rad. What it also mm -hmm. indicates to me is they're talking about the um, in there. It says the uh, the slithering sorcerers, sorcerers. then reanimate mm -hmm. these. Like who are those? Yeah, I yeah. want to know. I want to know who these slithering sorcerers are. Who are the 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 ones who bring these necroconda mm -hmm. um, back to or not back to? I guess the skins and give them life. Um, as far as it being, exactly. uh, so this is um, Mattel Creations. I think, you know, um, mm -hmm. Walmart's, I know, a bit of a headache. We don't actually have a ton of Walmarts near us. We have to drive a little mm -hmm. bit uh, to get to them from here in yeah. South San Francisco. <laughs> but, um, you know, everything I've seen uh, as far as people getting stuff from Walmart isn't very encouraging. So um, mm -hmm. if. You, so you're saying this is definitely Mattel Creations, well, is that right? We don't we don't have absolute confirmation of that yet. Okay. But putting clues together and looking at you know the, Just that the text packaging, it's got to be yeah. from it's some true. kind of packaging. I'm sure uh, right, if right. this went to Walmart, it wouldn't have that outer sleeve. Um, this is all signaling mm -hmm. that it's going to Mattel Creations, and you know perhaps it was a step back and saying, hey, uh, you know, Collector Con. <laughs> Walmart Collector Con went so badly because yeah. all of those yeah. exclusives got swallowed up by bots right away that yeah. maybe they pivoted on this one and said, we're not going to give it to Walmart and maybe we're going to put that on Mattel Creation so that the fans actually get a chance to buy it. Could be. Yeah. Who knows what, what goes on in the halls of Mattel, but um, you're right with that, with that outer sleeve and even the back being a full mm -hmm. portrait and not really having much text or a cross sell indicates that yeah. this is something that's going direct to fans and i, I prefer that i like that um mm -hmm. uh it it sucks if it's not being shipped to uh other countries so that's often a mm -hmm. problem with mattel creations yeah. lately um but and i also just hope that they make plenty these are intended to be mm -hmm. army builders right yes and, and that was and part of my second question to you if this mm -hmm. does go to mattel creations which it looks like it is and it's mm -hmm. being touted an army builder that should signal to us that they've made plenty of these <laughs> for people to buy multiples of that's right? a big should yes that's a big it should, should. And i i i would love to err on the side of optimism mm -hmm. and hope so the challenge with with okay. origins like again I, I mainly do masterverse and i've seen it like mm -hmm. the masterverse mattel creation stuff sits longer origin stuff yes. moves pretty quickly so i hope mm -hmm. i really really hope that they're factoring that in um in yeah. terms of their how many they're producing on these because these these are really great figures like these are yeah. the kinds of things that um, I know there are people who don't normally buy into like say snake man or, um, mm -hmm. you know, but they're like, wait, this glows in the dark. That, that actually happened last night on mega J's. I was up on there with Adam from highly articulated and he was like, oh, I'm not really mm -hmm. into the snake man. Oh wait, it glows in the dark. Oh yeah, no, I'm totally going to get this. So 
I just hope they factor <laughs> all of that in, um, in the numbers. Mm -hmm. I do too. I really do too. And just taking, taking a look at his incredible packaging. We'll dive in closer Ooh. into the art artwork in a minute, but he does glow in the dark. He's made of translucent plastic. Um, you can see the reuse of Lady Slither's tail packaged in to this um, box with amazing. them. Of course, this is deluxe packaging. It does look amazing. Uh, you know, similar to what we got with um, with Mossman, with Cyclone, with obviously these new deluxe turtles with Gray Skull figures. And then you know he's got glow in the dark. Um, this like kind of scabbard um, sword, and then you mm -hmm. know another smaller sword and a dagger. Uh, it looks like he's packaged with an exclusive comic behind him. Uh, so the presentation is absolutely amazing. Looks great. And um, this, again, is another piece of art that um, it doesn't show up on the back or the uh, front of the package. Mm -hmm. And, of course, mm -hmm. the, the front packaging, and we'll see the unfold of it, wraps around the side. So this is yet another piece of new art, which to me also signals that there must be some other part of the packaging or something that this goes to. So um, mm -hmm. whether it's maybe a insert rather than um, like one of those cardboard um, postcards, maybe it could be instead of a mm -hmm. comic book, we don't know, mm -hmm. or it might be part of some kind of special packaging that is on the outside of Necroconda. But they're going to use it somewhere because they wouldn't produce yeah. this if it didn't go on the package. Nope. Uh, he looks <laughs> And, you know, the neat thing about this figure is um, it's complete reuse. Every single part is something that they've already had, but it's such a brilliant reuse of parts. You know, mm -hmm. we have the King His Head and the Skeletor snake armor, um, He-Man, you know, the little claw piece and, um, you know, various snake men arms and the Skeletor 2000X, uh, like shin guards. So it's, mm -hmm. it's just a really smart reuse of parts. I love that they did a, a soft goods cloak with this guy. Um, yep. that's going to be just like such an incredible piece to see it that way. And, um, diving into, um, the artwork here, let's take a look at the front artwork first. Now we always try and look for teases in the artwork, although I didn't really see a tease in this. We do have, you know, a whole bunch of other, I guess, Necroconda snake men, um, yep. surrounding Lady Slither coming down this, this staircase into a cave like setting but you know mm -hmm. this could be a foreshadowing for the snake layer uh, but what do you think because you know we don't have any other figure pieces in here yeah the, there's not a ton of teases but it's interesting on the bottom right to see that sort of uh -huh. cross company promotion there of um mm -hmm. uh i was once a man cobra commander right is that what that's uh, yes oh no you're absolutely isn't that right. it <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure that's <laughs> That's Cobra Commander right there. No, um. it, it is. It is. It, it, eventually, when he when he sl slinks down to snake form. But you know the yes. neat thing about the snake, and if uh, you take a look um, at the the profile of the head, that's the Snake Mountain snake. You know yeah, that that okay. profile of the mouth mm -hmm. and the teeth that's open is definitely an homage Serpos. to the snake from Snake Mountain. <laughs> yeah. No, I love it. Yeah. I I think it's really cool to kind of see. I'm assuming this is. Um, a a necroconda being birthed in that sort of like pedestal yes. thing with a smoke coming out, and that's just that's uh -huh. just ridiculously cool. And you know, this is great. This is like the straight up '80s tradition of your your henchmen that basically, mm -hmm. like, if this were a cartoon, would be sort of okay to see get thrown around and potentially killed or whatever, um, because they're the army builders mm -hmm. and like, oh uh, well, they're just you know, in, in theory, yeah. they're they're just snake skins. They're not actually like I could totally see that. Just like you know the um, the reanimated skull. What what are we calling the mm -hmm. the skull people that they released? The army builder skeleton soldiers. Skeleton warriors. No, they're skeleton, the skeleton warriors, warriors, or like yeah. or the horde robots, right? Like those characters mm -hmm. that you can kind of see the in the horde. cartoon the get thrown around, and yeah. it's fine. And it's yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of cool <laughs> to see the the snake men get their their henchmen. Their yes. Troops. Yes, and you know, Mint with Card makes a really good point. He's a little fatigued with the Snake Men, but really wants this one. And you know, we're we're still in the the Rise of the Snake Men um, theme. Um, we have not made the full transition into Powers of Grey Skull, although you know we know that these characters kind of open the gateway for the Powers of Grey Skull. I'm still itching to see more of you know this new artwork and um, packaging on our on our new figures, but we're still getting Rise of the Snake Men. But yeah. um, 
I think I think maybe they're holding that back to San Diego. Uh, but this is a really cool figure, and I think you know a lot of people are going to be excited for him. Anything in translucent plastic <laughs> make people happy, and you know seeing seeing this image here as well uh, with uh -huh. He Man being attacked by multiple uh, Necrocondas um, is very cool too. There's again no teases in here, but I love the classic He Man um, that is front and center in this in this. Uh, illustration and you know again we've got this additional snake here um which you know this this just brings in the theme of you know the snake layer and like where is this taking yeah. place and i think that helps to add more of that mystique to um the new crowdfund playset that will be coming uh sometime later this year oh yeah no Ooh. absolutely i'm intrigued for <laughs> sure I love it. I lo I, this, this art stuff is just so great. You know, like that's it, one of my favorite is. things. I, I hope we're just continue to get volumes of that book, by the way. Sorry, it's a little yeah. bit of a, a digression, but I just love seeing this stuff. And I love that mm -hmm. this I'm, I'm on the website as surfing over here. Um, and I love that there's a website. Oh, that's that great. It's all in a very there, clear, it, convenient place. <laughs> If there's anything you ever miss on our live streams, you can find it all on the website, which now transitions us into the next topic, which is incredible box art. But we're going to switch gears from Origins to now Masterverse. And we Ooh. got a sneak peek at uh, Wave 13. Mm -hmm. So Wave 13 box images have surfaced. So Wave oh. 13 consists of Thunder Punch He-Man. Uh, new Eternia Thunder Punch Human, New Eternia Cyclone, Princess of Power Leech, and uh, Revolution Emperor Horak. So these are the new figures. Uh, of course, they're in that incredible new uh, Masterverse packaging that's got the art that wraps around the entire mm -hmm. box. I absolutely mm -hmm. love it. I love that they shrunk the window down that, you know, we don't really need to see the figure's legs Give us more artwork so you can still see the figure inside and see the condition and the, the plastic and how it looks and everything presented nicely. But then we've got that incredible art that wraps around the whole thing. And I think, you know, switching just real quick on the topic uh, from the old, you know, just blue standard Masterverse boxes we used to get to these new ones, I think mint on card collectors may start purchasing extras of these just to keep them closed because they look so beautiful uh, in their new packaging. I mean, I I never did this with Masterverse figures, but I did buy one extra Man at Arms because I just loved the artwork and how he looked in the package. So, you know, I think this was a brilliant move on Mattel's part to maybe drive some additional sales on Masterverse, which was a little bit more sluggish, right? Because those tended to sit on the shelves a little longer. Um, yeah. You know, what are your thoughts in terms of this this new packaging and, and we'll dive into each of these artwork, but I'll let you speak to that. Yeah, no, I, I think the, the packaging is great. The other ones, like while I, I generally appreciate a level of like consistency, they just were a little boring, like very stark. Yeah. Right. And I feel mm -hmm. like with the character sort of like bursting out of the, the border, if you will, of that window and everything, I think it's really cool. Mm -hmm. I also imagine that this is not, this is a little bit more of an expense because the each yes. box essentially has a unique cut um, die mm -hmm. cut for that window. So, but it's cool looking. I'm not a mint on box collector. And in fact, um, I just unloaded a lot of mm -hmm. Masterverse boxes since the very beginning, <laughs> everything I had of last month. Yeah. And, um, but I think it's really cool. And I think, you know, it's kind of a question mark in terms of how often we're going to get entertainment right? Like mm -hmm. well, uh, revolution just came. It's going to be a while before we get the next thing. Who knows if anything else is in the works. So um, this just kind of really makes it a lot more graphic. And there's a little bit of storytelling there with Hordak and the, the, the three mm -hmm. um, troops there are four troops. I think it's really helpful yep. for people walking down the aisle and going like, Oh yeah, the world of He-Man, right? A little bit more of a uh, showcase in the world. So that's cool. Absolutely. And it's great because, you know, these these are more readily available at retail. Um, mm -hmm. You do quite often, at least at our targets, do see the Masterverse figures. And so it'll be great to see these on shelves. And hopefully the new artwork will help drive sales. But if, if it is more expensive to do the figures with all of this art packaging, it must signal to us at least that the line is healthy. So that's always. No, a good thing. you're right. 
right? You're absolutely right. right. It's not a huge expense either, but but they wouldn't yeah. do that for a, a line that's yeah, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And on the back of Emperor Hordax package, you know, we get to see uh, <laughs> um the fright zone as it appeared in filmation, because this yeah. is like the full on huge, you know, fright zone. It's not like the vintage playset fright zone. So that's really cool. And you've got, you know, the the flying horde vehicles in the background and the horde tanks are also lining up behind Hordax. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, really cool to see these things. And um, I'm going to give a real quick shout out to our awesome and OG crew member, Allison Troy, which is now celebrating 12 months. Oh, as man. A crew member. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> What's up, Allison? Was good. Yeah, you said you said um, as we saw it in filmation, and and that's true. It matches that, but it's also um, mm -hmm. revolution too. The sort of yes. scene, yeah, and yes. I'm, it's really Absolutely. cool to see those versions of those tanks, like mm -hmm. uh, hinted at there in the back. I don't know that we'll yeah. ever necessarily see those in Masterverse uh, toy form, but they look really cool. I like that sort of unless uh, Yoko makes them. <laughs> True. That's true. <laughs> he's he's been meant to three D print all sorts of neat stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm gonna turn around. yarko has got one done tomorrow. <laughs> I totally the other thing. Bro. The other thing with this is that we do get product photography, and so it is kind of cool to kind of see him mm -hmm. triumphant in this pose. Um, I dig it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, it gives us a, a bit more of a sense of like you know, if I'm in the store. I'm looking at him. I can't really see his legs. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, what, what's yeah. going on? I turn around and I see it in this full, like, sort of dio situation with a painted background. I'm like, okay, this yeah. is cool. I could see this Absolutely. convincing me, honestly, to be like, oh, man, yeah, I guess I need to get it. He looks really cool. So, yes. That's cool. Yeah. And I love the portrait yeah. down at the bottom left. If you get a chance yep. to look at that closely, that's a really cool looking painted portrait of Hordak, of this oh, version yeah. of Hordak. Right here. Yeah, that looks great. That really does. Um, they did a wonderful job on that. <laughs> but you know, it's like every every bit of the box packaging is is helping um, in terms mm -hmm. of sales and and mm -hmm. drive sales for the product. Um, mm -hmm. And then the, the next one that we got, which um, I gotta say, seeing him in hand, his face sculpt looks better because <laughs> I did give him a hard time. Is Thunder Punch He Man? Uh, it looks like they straightened out his toupee a little bit and his hair doesn't look so like sideways as it did on <laughs> on Faker. Um, he does look better here, I got to admit. And now it's making me want to actually get this figure maybe early. You know, at least order it because I was on the fence. Um, but this is a really cool one. And, you know, Thunder Punch Hema is punching out new Eternia Skeletor. It's like they dug him back up yeah. from the yeah. archives in this, in this artwork, which is which is hilarious because this is, you know, that's that scabbardy sword that he came with and, mm -hmm. you know, having that other kind of um, Mark Taylor-ish uh, head sculpt that the new Eternia Skeletor came with. Um, and, you know, like the extra uh, chest armor and um, cape mm -hmm. that he's wearing. But I think uh, this, this artwork's really cool. What do you think of the front of this package? Yeah, again, this is what hasn't been traditionally in masterverse packaging it's usually been mm -hmm. portraits right and so we're getting action shots and i love it like this is very origin style too right like you're actually seeing these characters in scene and again just sort of speaking mm -hmm. to the storytelling like so many mm -hmm. of us if you're into new eternia right yes there was there were some um comics and they were kind of like done as sort of like one-off uh what do you call it like a mm -hmm. uh, uh, anthology style yeah but like when I look at these shots, just like that that original, um, the Beast Man, or even the the Skeletor New Eternia, the back of that was yeah. kind of cool to see him in scene, the back mm -hmm. of the the um, New Eternia Beast Man, seeing him swing along with his other people sort of around yeah. him, to see this yeah. like classic He Man versus Skeletor in New Eternia mm -hmm. is is really really cool, and I it, agree it with is, you that is... <laughs> good. I was just going to say, I agree with you on the head, at least in this box. It looks better. It um, looks better. Although people am... are still calling them chain smoking Aunt Karen. But that's <laughs> it's <okay>. not my <laughs> favorite. And I'll be yes, honest. Yes, I know. Like, they can't get his head right. They absolutely I can't. Am, I mean, I this, tend to this, replace this, to me, a lot head, of mine. His head is always better. <laughs> it's still, I tend to replace the them. Always too thin, but, you know, this is, this is as close as they've gotten so far. Yeah. Yeah. 
I tend yeah. to uh, replace a lot of mine. So um, for mm -hmm. the most part, most of my He-Man are by Hordak MX. Um, yeah. But but it's okay. It's better. It's it's one of the better yeah. ones, and it looks much better than those early shots. He looks like yes. um, you know he, he told the makeup artist to tone back a little bit on the uh, rouge and the. Yep. So it looks good. <laughs> he does, and and just to answer your question, Justin, um, this is not the 40th anniversary book. It's a standard book, and you can tell um, just holding it. Like his abs are much more pronounced here, and he's got a much bigger, like broader chest on the 40th anniversary figure than that one does. Mm -hmm. They kind of reverted back. I wish that they kind of incorporated this new book into a lot more of the new He-Man figures, but they haven't. Um, well, and maybe they're just allowing that 40th anniversary figure to stand on its own and, and be the, um, you know, as close as possible, beautiful homage to the original figure as they can. So um, I have a question on that though. Be. You're saying yeah. that this is the original book, but is it the like original um, not the original original. Not, but the, I think it's not the, the revelation one. Used, no, it's the book the battle just armor used one for the battle armor one. It's gotcha. not. It's definitely not this 40th anniversary one because yep. he's yep. got a for much sure. deeper chest, like bigger mm -hmm. pecs and like bigger abs. Um, yep. I'm and with kind you. Kind of bigger arms. So it's it's a, it's the more evolved book, but it's not the 40th anniversary book. If you want to put it that. Yeah, and that. I haven't gotten my hands on that He-Man either because. Kind of have a oh. lot of He-Man, but um, I don't know. I might. I am kind of curious to see what that body's like. With this one, this it was a similar. Crazy. Yeah, it was a similar vibe where I was like, "Oh, do I need another He-Man?" But it's like I really love the armor and I really love his gauntlets. That's I really like that that yeah. part of this new Eternia redesign. Oh yeah. Um, yes. So I'm in on this yes, one. And the packaging's helping. <laughs> and he actually he looks really great with that additional like pieces that are going up on his biceps that are yep. connected to his they wrist guards. They look so good. Those yeah. are great. They really do. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually getting a lot more, uh, you know, happy with, with how this He-Man turned out. And, mm -hmm. you know, maybe once I get him in hand, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, fall in love with the head sculpt. We'll see. But um, for now, <laughs> it looks better than Chain Smoking Annie. Um, <laughs> I think it's a, a vast improvement than the original well, pictures. I don't want to interrupt the flow, but I'm curious. When you say chain smoking Annie, who's the Annie? Is that I, an someone Anakin? said it was like Aunt, Aunt, a, Aunt Annie or something like that because of the hairdo. Oh, it looks like Auntie a Annie. Gotcha. woman and then the, the okay, cheekbones. It. And it's like she's been chain smoking. So Sorry, I'm of a, a certain age. Joke. So <laughs> I imagine like an orange sort of Afro style when you say Annie. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, I know. <laughs> but but he does look better. He absolutely does look better. Um, and then that'll bring us over to Ooh, Cyclone, um, which looks amazing. And on Cyclone's package, we actually do get a couple of teases, um, which I'm going to dive into in a second. So um, this new version mm. of Cyclone is amazing. Uh, new Returnia. They've given him a little bit more added features onto his face sculpt, yeah. um, a little bit more dynamic outfit, I guess if you want to call it that, and that extra mask that he comes with, which yep. I think is really cool. Um, and and first of all, you know, we have a couple of Skeleton, Skeleton mm -hmm. warriors that are shown here. I'm, I'm going to flip around to another image in a second, but what do you think of this figure? Uh, and it's, I mean, and the his Okay, because, yeah, the figure I was sold on a while back, I've got all of these yeah. already pre-ordered because I'm just like, I want to set it and lock it in. And um, yeah. But the packaging, again, like more story, more action. It's Cyclone versus the Skeletons, which amazing. Like, are, when yeah. are we getting those? Because I am ready for them. Um, and they look pretty <laughs> traditional, right? So just because, yeah. you know, I'm thinking New Eternia, they tend to have a little bit of a twist on what we're used to. But... Um, but that's amazing. And then on the top left, too, like to to know mm -hmm. that there are uh I'm, I'm blanking. What are they what what are cyclones people called? Um I I actually uh I don't remember okay. <laughs> the name of like his his um his race or whatever. His yeah, his, because his I mean I've heard I know in two thousand like people saying uh, is he gar? So he could be, but then I'm looking what's on the top it's left? So. Maybe I'm it's wrong. So. What's what's in the very top left? Do you see that little figure person up there? Yes, I the do. Saturn and that's looking... going to come to my next, my okay. next ease. Okay. Um, okay. Because before before we dive into that, I'm just going to go over to the backside of his package, which is sure. a beautiful diorama shot. But um, that's going to 
bring me into what the news we broke because I last, left those last two Masterverse figures for last because guess what? <laughs> we got in-hand images of both okay. Cyclone and Leech of the actual yep. figures out of their package and um, some very cool teases on Cyclone's box art, which is actually teasing uh, <clears throat> the Skeleton Warriors and the <laughs> Fright Fighter, which is hilarious because you know we don't have any vehicles in the masterverse oh, line yeah, yeah, this yeah, is clearly yeah. skeletor riding around in the fright fighter and he's mm -hmm. got i guess some more of cyclones uh you know race of men or whatever his gar mm -hmm. uh features um in in his graphs uh oh, you man, can see the skeleton was... over here that yeah. thing was so cool that was one of the my favorite designs of the vintage i didn't have mm -hmm. a vintage i had a handful it's of vintage weird. stuff but my cousin who's five years mm -hmm. younger than me and uh, was lucky enough to have a ton of He-Man. And that that big old dragonfly looking thing was so cool. Yeah. I don't remember yeah. it super well enough. Is this look at all new Eternia-fied to you? Oh, there it is. Well, this is this is the vintage. Yeah, the that's vintage. vintage. Sorry, that's vintage I'm over one. here looking at the oh, website oh. of the box. So oh, I'm trying to figure out how different it you're, is. You're good. You're good. Um, I'm going to go back to that image. So it does look new, eternified ish because look at all the detail, like on the jets that are on the bottom of it. Uh, yeah, um, and then also kind of like the back of the copter, if you want to call it that, with also mm -hmm. this little satellite and kind of some extra mm -hmm. detail mm -hmm. on it. Where if you take a look at the vintage version, it did have that, but um, I just feel like it's a little bit more plus, plus stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. On on the on the image uh, on the those... illustration here, and these guys, if you remember the Skeleton Warriors, these I believe came packed with uh, Roton for the Motu mm -hmm. Classics line. Kind of a new new character, kind of a background character. They probably got it out of Motu lore and you know the comics and all that kind of stuff. So um, this is a really neat like army builder figure. So if they're they're hinting at that, that would be really cool. Um, and so what we're going to do is actually dive into the in-hand images that I got just before the live stream started. So again, my apologies, we were a few minutes late because I was literally typing this up and pressing the article before we went live. Um, so this is Cyclone. He looks incredible and he is quite taller than sort of like the standard Masterverse figures. Um, what I was told by our anonymous source that sent these photos to me that he stands in stature with um, more kind of like the beast manish height, or maybe not as tall as like um, Snout Spout, but like kind of he's got that sort of lengthier, like taller stature. You can even you can tell, you know, kind of the longer legs that he has. Yeah. And his body stands a little bit higher um, than some of the other figures. What do you think of this guy? <laughs> now that you can I think see him in hand, and my apologies a little bit you know, not perfect, but no, yeah, no, I think it looks fantastic. I love sort of seeing the, uh, the shield with the, the, the spinning fire thing going on it. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, this is really great. And I'm jealous mm -hmm. that this person has it in hand and leech in the back there. Um, oh yeah. we'll talk about him in a minute too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, this looks really, 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 really cool. And it gives me, mm -hmm. um, yeah, th that flashback to the old figure. Let's see or his, hand, his arms joints loose, you think? Uh, no. But it, it looks great. No, it I looks really it. good. No, I doubt yeah. it too. But the, the new shape of the helmet too looks really cool. It's a really cool silhouette. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love wow. that. I love the added, you know, kind of shoulder blades or whatever they added to them. Mm -hmm. And these new red, you know, fire effects, um, they attach to both his shield and his, um, his wrist guards. So you can have like various different... Um, poses yep. and on your display which i think is really cool and here you can see those fire effects attached on his wrists which look mm -hmm. great because if you want to show him like he's kind of like spinning away um is awesome he looks really good there and then here's a close-up of him yeah, and so the, the chest plate and this is a brand new buck obviously because it's a whole new sculpt um mm -hmm. incorporating that like lenticular planetary radar screen or whatever he's got on him um, is apparently, uh, you know, it's, it's, it is a lenticular sticker, but um, it is behind a plastic bubble. Right, um, right. So it's not, uh, and I'm going to pull up, you know, my, my 
uh, Mattel Creations cycle in here, which, you know, you can see that's just a lenticular sticker, but yeah. um, it's really cool uh, that they kind of did it behind a bubble because it makes it look a little bit more like a screen and it gives up that added layer of mm -hmm. uh, technology behind it, yep. right? Um, and this we, we man can little... is playing Galaga. He thought oh, we yeah. didn't notice, but yes, no. <laughs> And as you Absolutely. hold up that um, Origins version, I, I really mm -hmm. like the differentiation of that sort of more subdued gold yep. and on this mm -hmm. one because it really fits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's cool. It's striking. It's bold. But for yeah. the sort of new attorney universe where things are a little bit more muted, I think mm -hmm. this this looks really cool. Yeah. And, you know, his his yellow his yellow parts of his outfit have a little bit of more of that shimmer to it, yep. kind of a little bit of a yep. gold color in it. His face has some added detail that makes him look a little bit more, I guess, me mechanical, if you want to call mm -hmm. it that. Um, that makes him like kind of a little bit more connected to his, his I guess, mechanical part of his body. Um, and we, we can have a little live demonstration with fun with Cyclone later to see his action feature. <laughs> so yep. I had my husband bring him upstairs for that reason. But um, I think he looks wonderful. And this is a back view. You can see the coloring on Cyclone a little bit better here, how it's like kind mm -hmm. of that shimmery old plastic. His legs are, uh, and boots are totally a new sculpt because it's got, you know, the rings that wrap around rings. it, you know, totally brand new, like loincloth design and his arms. Cause he's got the, uh, the bicep bracers attached to there and, and like those little blue, yep. um, whatever blade items that are on his biceps as well. Mm -hmm. So totally brand new sculpt. Uh, I think he looks great. This one's a home run um from mattel and they did a fantastic job with them um yeah. the next one we're going to take a look at will be are you here. moving on from cyclone yeah. i got a question before that oh yeah before childhood we do. go for it. childhood to know it's about the toy you had in your hand childhood me needs to know this can you take the yes. red ring from around his head like you could the original um oh here? no uh, yeah do you remember on the no, vintage yep yeah okay just from the vintage, it's, that was for some reason that became an extra weapon uh, on my yes, old cyclone. If it makes you feel better, you can you can clip this red ring uh, no, in multiple thing, spots like around yeah, that his, thing is. his waist. Um, yeah. Like I had it up on his his around his neck or back right here because you can you can kind of flip flip this into place. And uh, if you really wanted to and you wanted to be a, a badass, um, oh shoot. <laughs> Sorry, I was handy. It's okay. That, that was pretty badass have, in its own way. I know, right? You can actually have him, and I'm, I just dropped him on the floor. One second. Oh, you can good. have him Wait. hold his. You can have him hold his ring. Uh huh. And I guess we might as well do this now, since since you asked the question, we'll do a, uh, oh, a live see? demonstration. <laughs> I think that's um, so awesome. My only question is, why didn't they do that for Masterverse too? The fire stuff is cool, no. but. That they that could. weapon is so though. versatile. Oh, look at let's that! See, let's yeah. see how fast oh. I can get him whipping. But you know, oh, if he's got that, that red ring in his hand and a shield, Woo. that's like you know, watch out, you know, evil warriors. Your ass oh, is gonna that, get killed. That <laughs> is awesome. You know, I can get it going pretty fast, but um, that's this, super satisfying. I gotta tell you, home run uh -huh. by Mattel. Yeah. The that's best great. origins figure they've come out with so far. Yeah, that's really odd. Novel. I would have loved to have had that piece and be more like the, the you know, the 2000 X and you kind of use it as a sort of thing behind mm -hmm. him, snap it into the back. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. 3d it, printers it, you know, make it happen. Around his waist and he spins around. It looks great. It's kind of like mm -hmm. a hula hoop. Yep. <laughs> deadly but, hula hoop. Yeah. A deadly hula hoop. You don't want to, you don't want to get hit by that. Um, and then moving on to leech. That's cool. So this, and I want to get your opinion on this one. This is a, a pop version of Leech. Um, so he's got more of those filmation colors. He's got the yellow pauldrons on his shoulder. He looks like filmation style um, with the lighter torso and like the yellow belt. What do you think of this version of Leech? I, I'm I'm all over it. Um, that was that, mm -hmm. that actually, believe it or not, of the sort of single pack figs, that was the one that I wanted the most. I loved Revolution. But mm -hmm. I, I wasn't completely sold. I haven't been sold on the Revolution figure, sadly. I'm not sure why. I love that Hordak. I guess I wanted more of the battle Hordak. And I wanted him to mm -hmm. be. You're speaking about that 40th anniversary buck. I wanted mm -hmm. um, that Hordak to either be that or Skelegod, like bigger. 
-hmm. But this one, when I saw this, like this is the one where I was like, oh, I 100% want this one. Then Cyclone was number two um, mm -hmm. of the single pack figures um, that yeah. you know I want. I think he looks really cool. For some reason, they, they, you know, I don't know if it's not just them. A lot of companies do these monsters really, really well. Mm -hmm. I think it's because yeah. we don't have a frame of reference. Like for the faces, when people complain about He-Man or any other thing, it's like, because we, we, in our heads, we pretty darn familiar with what a human face is meant to look like. But we don't really yeah. have a concept of what this leech dude is supposed to look like. Or Slush Head mm -hmm. is another one that that sticks out to me. So uh, I I think they do such a great job of the monster figures. And I love how mm -hmm. they kind of tried to honor the suction cup feet um, yes. and hands. But like made it into something that fits more in line with the, the art direction and style of um, Masterverse. Yeah. I think it's cool. Yeah. And I really love that face because it... Reminds me of that alternate head from um, mm -hmm. from the Origins one, which was sculpted by the Four Horsemen or uh, specifically uh, Corn Boy from the Four Horsemen. And so I'm glad they yeah. leaned into that for this one. It's really, really cool. Yeah. It reminds me of like a yeah, yeah like a Peruvian, um, like indigenous sort of sculpture <laughs> almost. It's cool. That's awesome. I, I love that about it. And yeah, they absolutely went with that style head. Um, I love that, you know, he's got all of the uh, individual... Uh, sculpted teeth in his mouth and they went to to the extreme of yeah, you know if you look at the cool. most classic version of leech his his uh, suction cups on his hands and feet are just smooth there's no mm -hmm. there's no texture yep. sculpted into it there's no added detail um you know the the person that sent me these images did say these are hard plastic so there's no okay. suction cup action right. feature or anything but you know yeah. you've got all these little kind of like they look like the starlight pit right <laughs> like those little tentacly teeth uh, yep. sucking onto uh, the bottom and then these additional little like like little suction cups. So it's great that he's got like that added texture on his hands it's, and feet suction cups. I it's going to be great for photography. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, like him kicking or coming into the camera with his feet kind of kicking mm -hmm. out the camera is going to look really cool because of those like cool little yeah. details. Yeah, and, and it's great that they incorporated that into there. Um, you can tell that this leech's stature is a bit shorter than the other figures because as, as you know, um, the mm -hmm. Mojo Classics mm -hmm. figures stand a little shorter than Masterverse. Mm -hmm. And it mm -hmm. looks here that he's like slightly shorter even than the Classics uh, Leech. Um, so, you know, he's he's got that smaller stature and he's even shorter than Catra. <laughs> so I don't know if, you know, I guess maybe they were looking at- There's um, a little bit of- scale and He's kind of a shorter, stubbier kind of character and maybe a little bit more broad. Um, I think there's like also him. a perspective thing happening there, foreshortening thing happening. Yeah. Catch but a I was, little I was bit. actually told this by by the owner of these person photos. who has it. <laughs> and, okay. Yeah, that, that he is a little bit shorter in stature. He's like one of the shorter figures, huh. um, which is something that stood out to this person. And you know, you can you can yeah. kind of see it in context of these. I know it's it's an angle thing too, but I guess he is a little bit smaller in scale. Um, yeah. And he does come with this kind of like whip tentacle um, accessory that uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, attached to a horde um, type, you know, thing on his little wrist uh, bracer right there that you can see that he wears as an accessory, which I think is really cool because he has no way to grab anything. There's no gripping hands. Right. Right. Yeah. Which I think it was a missed opportunity. Maybe they should have packed him with a couple extra gripping hands to put some kind of extra accessory with them. Um, so, you know, on, on that sense, maybe that was a missed opportunity. All you can do is clip on his, uh, his standard crossbow and this cool little whip. Um, yeah, but all it is in all, a little odd. I agree with you. That would have been really cool molded in sort of that frogish thing, but just take away the webbing so that they could grip. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That would yeah. I mean, we got level. that with the origins figure. So, um, we did have alternate hands, but, um, look at all those teeth he's got sculpted into mm -hmm. there. I mean, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is awesome. That is awesome because, um, even the, uh, the one from Motu classics had like kind of bigger teeth, but this one's just like, so more of that kind of suction cuppy teethy, you know, like multiple like layers of teeth type design in his mouth. Yeah. Rather than it like looks... looking more like a crocodile. <laughs> Is so. uh, are his um, pauldrons shoulder pauldrons? That's new, right? I don't remember any figure mm -hmm. having that other than maybe Man in Arms has some pauldrons that stick up. Exactly. But it's a really cool look. Creates a really yeah. cool yeah. silhouette. 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's a callback to his filmation design. So mm -hmm. because he's from Princess of Power. So right. this is calling back to his look in uh in the cartoon, uh, which he did have these yellow pauldrons. So I think I think they did a really great job on this one. So thank you to the person that sent us these photos. Uh Who once are you? made anonymous, but um it was me. Uh you can just tell them it was me. I have the figure here. Um, whip it out, Rick. <laughs> we want to see them. No, it was don't it was whip actually. that. But um, I I just and, remember and this, these this are diorama in the background is incredible. I just gotta say that the person who sent me these pictures is incredibly talented. Built out mm. this whole world. Um, took amazing photos. So thank you so much to this person. Yeah, and look at cool. you know that castle Grayskull and all of you know the the world of Eternia that this person has to display his figures. Totally jealous of that. It looks great. Great. And Super maybe powerful. this is more of a question for the chat. Um, yeah. Um, but I am just kind of wondering, these are both new Eternia figures, both Cyclone and this. Um, well, it's, it's a Princess of Power figure, but yeah. Oh, is this one listed as Princess of Power? Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. But for yep. uh, Cy Cyclone, no. I'm just oh, kind of curious okay. if they're, I'm just curious if they're pulling from um, concept art precedent. And I I just am not familiar enough with a cyclone concept art. Anyway, that's if for anybody in the chat. I don't know if Allison's there or anyone. Yeah, I'm sweet. just curious. Yeah. Um, the, the other thing I was going to touch on was on Leech's box art. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a tease, and I had these windows open for both um, Scorpia with her for her cat. <laughs> which is awesome. And we get a tease uh, for Adora as well. So, so cool. that is really awesome. Uh, I hope <sighs> we get these figures. These are the, the classic version. Uh, but we absolutely need an Adora in the line. We still don't have her in either Origins or Masterverse. So um, mm -hmm. how cool would it be if we get Adora in Masterverse? I mean, how, come on. How cool will, will it be, do you mean? No, it um, will be cool. <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's absolutely gonna yes. happen, and I'm excited for it. I I was talking with Mega J last night about, you know, there there's always this, these different notions. Neil Hunter Hart about, is more than excited. <laughs> yeah, Adora. There's this notion out there that like, oh no, they don't have access to this, 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 and and I I, I understand that, and uh. But I also am not in those rooms. And sometimes I wonder if the people who mm -hmm. claim certain things were there, or if they're whatever. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. all signs point to some kind of shift that because they're yep. they're representing these characters. You don't throw those on there. Like Mattel's legal counsel would not let that artwork fly. Nobody in yeah. Mattel would pay an artist to do that. Mm -hmm. Right. If, if they didn't have intentions with me. Yeah, if there's the potential of uh, you know, some some we don't have the rights to do it. And between yeah. this, between what That's happened it. in Revolution, sorry, I'm not mm -hmm. gonna say spoiler alert, because if you're on Toy Habits and you haven't seen Masters of the Universe Revolution, <laughs> you're a little bit suspect. You should go check it out. But there are clear nods to Adora existing mm -hmm. and so and potentially being in the next iteration. So it's all coming together. We're going to get an Adora. We're, we're going to mm -hmm. get all of these and which is great because yeah. we've had a princess of power line in Masterverse for a while and we still haven't gotten Adora, and that's a little odd. Granted, I it took am... us a while to get Prince Adam too, but come on. I know. I know. I, I'm, I'm super, super excited um, that we're going this way in the line. And mm -hmm. um, we already know that pop is coming to origins the cartoon collection, because we've been covering that, uh, if you follow our website. Um, so I love that they're leaning into Princess of Power. It's, uh, you know, the Princess of Power 40th anniversary. So we got to mm -hmm. celebrate that. We got to get more characters. And this is going to be incredible. And I'm super excited uh, to see Adora and Scorpia on this box. And I love that they did make that pivot of full 360 degree or, you know, all the way surrounding yep. a box are on these new masterverse mm -hmm. figures because now that gives them the opportunity to give us these figure teases which they uh -huh. never used to do before right nope nope right. it was all in origins and you got to play that fun mm -hmm. game all over the rest of us here in masterverse were like oh with the exception of that beast woman which mm -hmm. um what yeah. time is it which we never got i i'm yeah. waiting for it yeah yeah you know you never know but you know it just gives <laughs> us more more uh 
things to cover and, and ponder. It does. Over, uh, so so we, we tune in to toyhabits.com. Yes. And if you, if you want to see, you know, sit here and drool over these in-hand images, again, thank you to the person who sent it to us of New Eternia Cyclone and the new Masterverse Leech, head over to toyhabits.com. We have this on the front and center of the website. Um, find the article right there. You can take a look at yep. those images. They are amazing. And um, we did re um, discover that the Wave 13 is also on Walmart's website. I know Walmart's a sticking point, but if you want to get them, uh, you know, some people like to order from Walmart. Um, uh, more power to you, but we did find the links to that uh, as well. So I don't know if we had anything else on Motu to cover because I want to switch gears and talk about WonderCon that I had the pleasure of attending in person with my amazing partner, Michael, who again, uh, wasn't able to be here. Uh, and I'll put a pin in that until you have your final thoughts on Motu. <laughs> Uh, just that I, I'm excited. This is like, again, it's weird to think that it's 2024 and we're at this real strong high point for the brand. I think, you know, there was all sorts of things like, oh, Origins is disappearing. Like, no, it's not. And it's continuing in new and different forms. And not just like the Origins. Mm -hmm. There's also Turtles of Grayskull. Like there's yeah. clearly the, the brand is alive. There's interest in cross-pollinating with things like Ninja Turtles and uh, Stranger yeah. Things. So yeah. it's, it's really in this, almost like I'm pitching myself, almost like a strangely healthy place. You, you pointed it out, right? Yeah. Oh, they're spending more on the packaging. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm excited to just sort of see where things are going. Cause especially as we, yeah. we we're getting more and more figures and it's, mm -hmm. it's just a big question. Mark, like, Ooh, what else can we get? Cause we're not necessarily getting the most obvious things in actual figure form yes. or even teased we're getting really cool weird characters yeah. necrocon like so exactly and it's that, that is it's, it's super exciting it's mattel's way of um stretching out the line right because if yep. they give us all of the expected figures all at once you yep. know we're gonna get to the end of the rope and they are doing the right thing so for those of you that are frustrated that we haven't gotten all of the core characters yet think about this it's for the health of the line, right? It's yeah. going to keep the line going when they have these new characters that come out that kind of help fill some waves and it prolongs the the time that the line is out. It helps yep. generate more revenue. It keeps the line yeah. going. It keeps it financially and um, healthy and just uh, helps prolong um, how long we're going to be getting moat to. So I think it's wonderful. I know we're all impatient for, you know, getting the other vintage figures that we want to get, but um, yeah. they'll come. We'll come and, and keep stay tuned to toyhabits.com because we've always got news on uh, future waves. <laughs> so, smooth. and I'm not going to say more than that, but there that is, is some smooth. news coming. Yes. <laughs> and on that note, we're now going to pivot over to WonderCon. Um, yep. Michael and I attended that in person uh, last weekend. It was great. I was just going to throw some uh, photos on the screen. I've got these on my Instagram page. Mm hmm loading those up um now you, to, you two have gotten together in real life time. before or it was this the first time what, once before we met in person once before. Um, so it. michael came down for the weekend um spent the weekend with me and my husband it was a lot of fun Yay. got to show him my toy room which was really cool and i wanted to film a toy room tour but we just kind of ran out of time mm -hmm. so um which but it was so much fun and we even got to meet a couple of our uh, and I'm going to put a pin oh, in that one in a second. Yay. We got to meet a couple of our Toy Habits crew members. Uh, nice, that's nice. Jason in that picture and hung out with our very own Joe Coleman as well, uh, who spent the day with us hanging out and shopping and whatnot. But um, we got to meet Emily from yeah, the Hasbro did. marketing team. That's and awesome. she was super nice. She's, she was representing both G.I. Joe and Ghostbusters that day. And yep. uh, funny thing, so we talked to her. We were waiting outside for the panel to start. Um, mm -hmm. So we got to chit chat with her a little bit. And before the panel started, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to go use a restroom and, you know, just whatever, clean up and stuff. And then I ran into Emily in there, too. And oh, we were talking great. for a while. She was, like, super sweet. We were just, like, chit-chatting away. Um, so, um, well, hopefully we're going to see if we can try and get her on the show. Uh, yeah. What, what are we <laughs> but Make it was it a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So, um I'm gonna I'm gonna 
save the best thing for last, but there were some really cool reveals and, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, we're not going to cover all the, uh, the Marvel and Transformers and all that kind of stuff. But what I did want to cover was Aww. a couple of reveals that they did. I know it's just, it was a lot. It was a lot. A lot. So, no, it is, know, but have, there was some great Marvel our, stuff. Whew. It's only me and Michael. There's only two of us. So we got to focus our, our efforts here, but they did unveil this amazing 1984 version of the Ecto one in one eighteenth scale that the door is open. It's got incredible, um, you know, detailing in there. There's this little gurney in the back that has room for some, um, some, uh, char you know, blasters and whatnot. And so, it's funny because Emily made the joke, well, if you have room to put these proton packs in, um, you know, what are you going to put in there? And who's going to sit in the seat? And then, you know, they're showing all these great pictures. And then they revealed <laughs> these amazing yeah. freaking, and I'm just going to go to the to, to the better images here, O-ring Ghostbusters figures, three and three quarter inch O-ring Ghostbusters figures. I mean, we were all like wow <laughs> like that's really cool because hasbro's gone away like stepped away from o-ring they gave the gi joe o-ring line to super seven as you know and now i mean i know it's only four figures but they're gonna make these o-ring figures so um that's share wild. your thoughts on this <laughs> what do you think of it you know it's funny we've been talking about like what is this this interesting low-key o-ring resurgence right between all this sort of indie brands mm -hmm. kind of returning to o-rings yeah. we got delta 17 and mm -hmm. a bunch of other great options you have super seven going mm -hmm. back to o-ring for joe's and then they drop this yeah. which is really cool i have heard that um <laughs> as maybe you've heard as well that it's not necessarily indicative of like a brand new o-ring no. you know no. gi joe collection it's like one off it's a yeah, one-off. Like yeah. Cool one-off. Um, but I think it's mm -hmm. really like it truly is a cool one-off. And what I like, I, I yeah. actually really, really like the head sculpts on these. It kind of hits that, yeah, that fun I'll go back balance. To this. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're a little bit soft in, in a good way. Like they're they're not like you know the hyper detail, yeah. which they shouldn't be in O-ring, because there's a little bit of like abstraction which, that's happening in O-ring. Yeah, and what I'll tell you is you're absolutely right with that. And the word for it, they've got this like nostalgic 1980s charm about them, mm -hmm. which is they what do. the ring figures should have. Yep. They're not supposed to be highly like detailed in their faces. They they look like you you got these in 1984, right? The amount of detail on the figure, the type of articulation and the sculpting in the face, I think have really dialed them back into the time that they were supposed to be released. And I love that about them. It, mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's great. Even the, the accessories have a little bit of that going on and I love that, mm -hmm. you know, you, they even paid attention to sort of like um, the Peter looking a little bit different with his sort of the, his lower legs and stuff. It's really cool uh -huh. things going on. Oh, if you're, if you're a Ghostbusters boots. fan. Yeah. yeah. If you're a Ghostbusters yeah. fan, you're you're mm -hmm. lucky. This is great because uh, yeah. I would have thought that we'd be getting Ghostbusters toys again with a new Ghostbusters movie in theaters. No. It's, it's cool. Oh, it, it's really cool and so weird. O rings. I mean, it's, it's awesome. The, you, you know, the only bummer was and you can see the back door is open as well, but um, it only it's going to seat two figures. They were they they used a previous mold or you know they already had this and re kind of jigged this Ecto one, this scaled Ecto one, and they had to re engineer it and they were only able to fit enough room for two figures to fit in the front seat, which is a little bit unfortunate because you would love, obviously you want to sit all four of your guys in here if you got it on display, mm -hmm. but you know, to yeah. make myself feel better, if this, if I do have this on the shelf, I mean, do I want to cram all four of them inside the car and not get to see the cool O-ring figures? So this will allow me to have two standing next to the Ecto-1 and then sitting inside it. And um, I think it'll look great on display that way. So, uh, you know, that's my consolation to the fact that it won't seat four figures. Um, but it still looks great. I think it looks great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it's really, a really cool thing to have, especially if you've got like, you know, three, three quarter Joe vehicles and stuff. Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of cool to just all yeah. of us and see that thing there, have that thing in the GI Joe base where the Mobat is, or yep. I don't know. It would be really oh, cool. Oh, I know. Right. <laughs> I should put yeah, it someone on. Someone else was list. saying, yeah, someone else was saying putting the four, uh, the four, uh, the, the Ghostbusters inside the, the jail cell inside that old, uh, you know, GI Joe base. And <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's cool. It's, 
-hmm. Anyway, thank you, Hasbro, for making me feel young again for just a little bit. Good job. Yeah. You know, you know, and even if you had, let's say, I know the Playmobil figures are a little bit shorter than O-Ring, but if you had like a Playmobil Ghostbusters Firehouse, uh -huh. which I do, it's just put away, these would actually look kind of cool because they're a slightly taller scale, but they still won't look too out of place because I know getting an actual Ghostbusters Firehouse is very hard and expensive. Yeah. Um, so there's opportunities and it wouldn't be in scale with this anyway. Yeah, absolutely. So um, it's it's really neat that, that they're doing this and it's like, it's a nice nod to the fans, you know, bring them back to the original and, and giving us something unique. Um, but the thing that we were all super excited about was when they unveiled G.I. Joe. Had to do that. Um, we knew these figures were coming, but we got to see like the actual production <laughs> images. And the funny thing was <laughs> that I think um, because Emily was running out of time and something happened with the slideshow, I don't know what it was, but she was not going to or planning to give us a name only reveal. But she's like, you know what? Um, just as a consolation to whatever like little glitch they had in the panel room, because we were uh -huh. in the panel room with them, um, she threw out the name only reveal of Once a Man Cobra Commander. It wasn't planned. I, I swear um, I'm so we thought, that was, we thought that was that was pretty cool. And we we're like, everyone like starts looking it up, but I, I absolutely knew what it was. Um, this is this is a whole wait. People here. were looking but, it up. Oh man. Yeah. Was tell great. us, tell us you're not a vintage Joe fan without telling us you know. That's I know. Great. I was like, dude, it's like freaking from the movie when Cobra Commander starts turning into a snake. How do you guys not know that? Um, but <laughs> these these look awesome. Have you have you gotten any of the new retro? I actually have one next to me. Have you gotten any of the new retro card backs? From the I new don't. Ones, like, I don't. I actually don't. I don't collect uh, Joe Classic, but my brother does, yeah. and I sort of like live through him. I have a handful, mm -hmm. like a, a Destro. Okay. I actually have a Prophet I, I make him Destro as well. Make him so. No, I won't. <laughs> you, know, you won't. You won't. But okay. I've seen that. So if any of you I've guys... seen that, and it's gorgeous. Oh, okay. It's mm -hmm. gorgeous. Okay, so you guys all remember and the jokes we used to make. This used to be a Walmart exclusive. The card backs were super thin. They showed up looking like a, a taco or a wonton because they were always folding in half by either Walmart or Amazon. The card backs mm -hmm, were trash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hasbro has done a 180 degree change. These new card backs are gorgeous. They're extremely thick. And I'm not even talking about like just thick. Um, card backs it is like as thick as one of those double sandwiched marvel legends card backs i yep. mean you cannot you can't you can't bend this thing and um the plastic bubble is sandwiched inside of this so you can't mm -hmm. even see it it's not stuck down to it so it's like super super incredibly thick um this is a, a mint on card collector's dream if you love um vintage gi joe and you're a classified collector you're gonna probably want to get you know you know an extra one to keep carded these are incredible and i want to applaud hasbro for the amazing change we've been asking for this kind of card back on these figures forever we're like you do it with marvel legends why yeah. the heck can't you do it with gi joe and we we're getting pissed for card backs for years and these look great i'm super excited of what else is going to come in the line um and and they're so bright the art is incredible these are fantastic. So, and, and you the said, figures, the new figures are wonderful. And those are available at Target because I've seen him, I thought, yes. right? So, okay, that's what I thought. Target, I, yeah, yeah I, I saw, actually, I, I was and, in my go ahead. Well, I love oh this. no, I was just gonna say, I saw him in those sort of anniversary figures that are meant to kind of like resemble the old vintage. 12 inch Joe's like the troops. Yep. And I was, I was looking at it, I was like, great, yeah. I'm walking by. And of course, me, like, you know. I was a kid in the 80s who had vintage Joe's and it was had this instant flashback seeing those cards there in Target. Yeah. Oh, like, it was it was a beautiful moment. Isn't and that awesome? I really I really do like the new head too. I really like that that head sculpt on that Duke in particular. Duke this this new head sculpt for Duke looks amazing. Like it's yeah. it is beautiful. Um they did a fantastic. I I totally love it. Um what I was going to uh show you guys was uh, at my target actually i was out there yesterday night or yesterday afternoon and they are um now showing up on shelves like a whole bunch of the new stuff i'm just trying to 
open the window and um, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I can I gotta switch over and stop sharing for a second. So give me a sec to yep. switch over to do this and throw it on here. Screen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll have it up in a second. Here we go. Um, you know, this was just at my local Target, and, and my Target is not one to like carry exactly. stuff. There, this is just exactly. regular Target, usually peeled. But there was a retro Duke. There was the 60th anniversary yep. um, soldier and recon diver, and even freaking metalhead was all sitting yep. on the shelf. Uh, they're getting the stuff in store, and there was yep. even the hawk uh, sitting in the box back here behind which I didn't get in the photo, but all this new stuff is getting to the shelves. And like you said, um, even, you know, Ricondo and Scarlet, they're showing up on pegs. So yeah, that was me a week and a half ago. That exact yeah. same setup, that display of those four figures awesome. next to each other. And it totally caught my eye because I was like, whoa, I, I see a Joe on a yeah. car. Yeah. And I wanted to take a picture of this to, to give to give collectors hope that, you know, if, if, if you don't want to wait for things to ship online or whatever, like I don't know what happened with the Hasbro team, but if you think two two years ago we were waiting a year and a half for figures to yeah. ship to us, we had the same you know Snake Eyes movie figures rotting on the pegs. Nothing was showing up in stores, and now all of a sudden the product is getting to us fast. We're getting things in retail. They've improved their card backs. They've improved their packaging. Um, so these look great. Um, you know, putting a pin in those brand new last wave that had the smaller packaging with no art in the front. Yeah. That's a totally different story. Hopefully they'll yeah. turn those around. But I think they're doing a wonderful job at these. So um, I'm super happy to see that. Um, but what we wanted to, to to talk about was the reveals that, uh, and I got, sorry, I got to switch mm -hmm. over my screen again. So we, we knew that we were going to be getting uh, Retro Beachhead and uh, Retro Snow Serpent, Retro uh, Cobra Eel, and the Ferret in terms of seeing their digital render reveals. But we did get the actual official images, official card back images, and all of the drops happened this past week. We've got all of the links on toyhabits.com. Um, it was really cool to see these. These are like the production actual figures. They did show us these at the panel. They had them mm -hmm. on display, and these are these are their you know pro prototypes. Um, but I think these look great. Uh, I do have a couple little tiny nitpicks, <laughs> which I'll go through in a minute. Uh, but they look incredible. So I, I know you don't really collect these, but um, you know I love that they're doing the retro figures, and because yeah. they are supposed to be homages to the vintage, the only nitpick yeah. I have in this group was and it's probably the same thing you're thinking i couldn't wait to get a retro snow serpent i you know when the first snow serpent came out it was like his web gears too dark blue it looks almost black he's got these like super modern snowshoes they have to do a retro version of him i said and then when they announced the retro version i was so excited and i was like yeah. we're finally gonna get his tennis shoe snow racket yeah, his racket, no. you know, tennis racket, tennis racket snowshoes yeah. Yeah. yeah, because that's classic to the vintage um, three and three quarter inch O ring figure. And what the heck sure. does Hasbro do? I mean, they went through all this trouble of making a new figure, changing his web gear to the bright blue, giving them this amazing card back, and they gave us the same damn modern snowshoes. Yeah, oh, sorry. No, I I get <laughs> that's it. That's the only I, I had. <laughs> I wasn't going to point that out, but yes, I remember those very well. Those were cool accessories back in the day. I will say mm -hmm. to maybe put a bright side on the whole thing. I'm appreciating oh, yeah. now that I was having this conversation with my brother. I was like, oh, it's kind of cool that like that they're doing more than just repainting the figures. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the earlier mm -hmm. retro figures yeah. were essentially that. But like, you know, yes. even using different body parts, some of it's new. Um Actually, mm -hmm. is any of it new? Yeah, some of it is new. And some of it's just from other figures, like Be Beachhead's. Yes. Um, some of Beachhead's parts are from soccer, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. And and, and yeah. it does, it it lines up a little bit more with um, my figure. one, like, yeah, the vintage figure, which was one of my favorite characters back in the day. Yeah. Because um, he just he looked so cool. Beachhead just looked so cool. And then, you know, mm -hmm. even seeing, like, the the 
the weapons assortments here too totally took me yeah. back. And you're right. You're right. The one thing that is really yeah, odd. One thing that if I'm, if I'm in my cheap. retro brain, yeah, that yeah. those those snowshoes are odd. But to make I mean that was a lazy move. Everything else is gorgeous. And I'm giving Hasbro and the G.I. Joe team all the props. You guys did an amazing job. Fix the card yeah. backs, gorgeous artwork, nailed the colors on 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 the figures, they look great. But that was like my own little thing that bugged me. I'm like, how inexpensive would it have been to throw the right kind of snowshoes in there? And I'm sure some some customizer, like some Gridiron Studios or somebody, maybe will come up with a, an extra pack sure. for him and, and make us some snowshoes. Or maybe it's Ace so or hard though, <laughs> Toy Sorceress. It's really tough for these nostalgia brands, right? Because yeah. because <laughs> we we do have such a strong connection and memory of these things and they have to kind of figure out the balance it's like how much are we trying yeah. to make things new versus it's the small nostalgia. details right to no it's totally but i can imagine you know but there there's a certain set of gi joe fans who would be like mm -hmm. well those shoes aren't realistic why you know what i mean and it, it, they have to find that balance yeah who are we gonna piss off this week right who are we gonna piss off this time with, <laughs> with this release this so week. exactly yeah, right. exactly and you know i think the the star of the show here was the cobra ferret with the the scout figure um it's got this really cool female um atv driver in yeah. a cobra outfit which looks amazing um mm. This uh, Cobra Ferret went up on Hasbro Pulse. Uh, I think it was on Thursday, if I'm not mistaken, when the drops were and um, sold out fairly quickly. This was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. So hopefully uh, whoever wanted one got one. Um, what do you think of this? You know, th this is straight out of your vintage ferret. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really cool. I love the redesigned ferret uh, with a, this cool looking, you know, more techie tires. I'm mm -hmm. sure some people will be bothered mm -hmm. by the lack yeah. of realism or whatever. I think it's still hilarious that those those missiles are so low to the ground. I love that Rogue oh my God, I know. this morning. Cause like, <laughs> ooh, uh, talk about a yeah, major, right? major <laughs> disaster <laughs> if a, a rock hits that. But- um, Oh my God, <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> I love the look of the figure. I think that's a cool looking yeah. figure. The only thing I don't like is the helmet. Mm -hmm. The helmet just okay. feels very like, like like yeah. Cobra's budget went down, so they ran to the the local BMX shop or whatever or motorcycle. I know, shop. right? <laughs> and, no, just grab that one off the shelf. We're cool. That it works. It's fine. Throw it on. But it's um, but it's so like authentically BMX helmet, right? It's like yeah. totally like yeah. That, I yeah. mean, I thought that was kind of funny about it, but like, but cool at the same time. <laughs> but um, the the her ankle um holster is is oh, yeah. awesome too i love i love that about these new joes all the the weapon storage and yeah. um yeah. great it's great like it we is. didn't have that we didn't we didn't have any women other than baroness and zorana uh I know. Right? in, in cobra in the, back in the day over off and be like i'm taking it for me um yeah. but she looks she looks she looks really cool it's gonna look great for you know, toy photographers out there, they're going to take amazing mm -hmm. pictures. I know personally, I want to put both of my, um, my crimson twins. So I always wanted yes, to put them on my course. shirt. So I can't wait. Always. That. that was because of the box art, right? Back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's yeah, right. So. Let me ask you this. Um, uh, for, Cause I don't mm -hmm. have, I've never, I don't think I've ever held any of these classified vehicles. Are those decals uh -huh. that you put on or are they printing them now? So know? most of the most of them are actually like tampoed graphics on okay. it. We did just Good. get the vamp. Um, it probably had maybe one or you know just a couple. I don't remember if the vamp came with any extra stickers, but if it does, it's just like a couple. If you want to kind of embellish it, like for example, on the hiss, the uh, Haslab mm -hmm. hiss had tampoed graphics on it, but then they yep. give you the option to add some additional personalized like stickers if you want to kind of customize the look of your own hiss tank. Sure. You could okay. do that. Great. So, so, and it's great because you know, since these are tampoed, they won't like start peeling off or exactly. anything Exactly. Like um, I feel like it's more premium this way, like because I'm looking at this mm -hmm. thing and I'm looking at the details of like the tire markings and stuff. Yeah. Like those won't those won't last. Yeah. That that's great. It's glad no, it's I know smart exactly. that they that they, yeah. they stamp those on there. The they're stamping. They're the tampo stamped on, so they yeah. look great. Yep. They look great, and you know, Ooh. there's even detail on. You can see, you know, the little cockpit like screen or whatever of the, the steering wheel and you can remove mm -hmm. this big old uh, gun that connects on there. 
Um, hopefully the missiles stay on better than they did on the vintage toy because those used to just fling right off. Um, and yeah. then that would crack <laughs> very easily. How many people and out there have cracked eggs for their missiles on their ferrets? <laughs> and they would fall, then it would explode, then Cobra would lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. You know, the one thing I think that they're missing, which I did not notice, and this is something that a lot of people are missing on their vintage ferrets, is it mm -hmm. used to have that little kind of cable or whatever coming off of the gun that connected into like a port on the side. Oh. It's like a little black, you know, like wire. Mm -hmm. um, and that they did not include in here because most, most people's vintage ferrets are missing it, but it was supposed to be one that like came out and poured it on the side. So it looks like they omitted that in this design, but I think it, I mean, it still looks great. It looks great. I it only, does. I only bought one. I did not buy multiples of this, but, um, you know, I think it was really? like 60 bucks okay. if I'm not. Oh, yeah. Or maybe 55. It might've been 54 99. I don't know if you guys remember in the chat. Um, that's a great, price, that's but, a great, you know, great little vehicle. I love that they're doing, um, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And here is a retro beachhead, uh, in person, looking incredible on his card back. Um, again, this one, this one was a great figure, total throwback to the vintage. I, I totally love that. Um, again, you know, his card back looks great, and the presentation of all of his accessories on the bubble look fantastic. And you know, I don't even mind this uh, bigger scale because this allowed them to to kind of increase the size of the artwork. So I think it looks great. You know all of these in hand uh, production images, all the official images are on the site. Um, the retro eel, it's great that they are doing a version of this. It doesn't look, sorry, it's it's loading. It doesn't look that much different than the original eel. There's very slight variations to it, but a lot of people missed out on the eel. There are a lot on the aftermarket. Yeah. Um, the yeah. original version did sell out. And so they cost a lot of money. This is gonna give people another opportunity to get this figure. Um, mm -hmm. I think they, they're probably still available on, on like Amazon and BBTS and uh, EE, if I'm not mistaken. And you can go ahead and check out our article on toyhabits.com. All the links for everything are in there. Um, but it sold out pretty quickly on Hasbro Pulse to be expected. He looks really good. I really like him. Um, I think he has a little less accessories, if I'm not mistaken, than the, uh, than the original release. Um, but, you know, again, you're getting this amazing card back. and It looks great. Yeah. So anyway, um, that is it for our Geo Joe news. And I, I Yo, think I jumped out. Wait, is it? Is it? I thought I was once a man. Oh, no. You have something else. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> No, I just saw um, the um that that uh custom figure oh, that well, you we, showed for it. Oh yes, I'm sorry that I, I, I did not that load that up. Face. I'm going to grab that. The no. we we touched on the once a man uh yes. Cobra Commander it's named only man. reveal, but I will indulge Brick here Please. and show off this um very cool custom that I dug up online. Sorry, I'm just the uh, legacy of down. Cobra. No, no, no. Sorry, that was just no! to anger some of the hardcore jokes. We can't do it. We're Dave to do the, the la, 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 la. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you remember, um, this was a Cobra Commander from the G.I. Joe movie when he got turned yep. into a snake man. Uh, so <laughs> and good. I saw this incredible. custom and I was like, yeah. Awesome. This is from Rowan8180 uh, on Instagram that does these really amazing um renderings like digital renderings of um of gi joe figures and if you haven't checked out his instagram page uh go ahead and check it out but he's got like all these kind of concepts of different characters and you know like uh, they're great here and mm -hmm. bunch. They're, they are wonderful and i dug up this one of cobra commander um you know in his kind of partial transformation his you know his foot is now turned into a snake uh, he still has partial human form um, you know, his, his hand still remains and yet he's transforming. So this was a really cool version. Uh, I, I'm very curious to see what Hasbro is going to do with this, um, yeah. you know, transforming Cobra Commander once a snake man or once a man. I love the detail <laughs> of that faceplate to the internal side of the faceplate. Like uh, that would be amazing mm -hmm. if, if Hasbro actually ever did anything like that, but it's such a cool custom. Uh, or custom concept, I guess, is what it is. And uh, yeah. I hope I hope it's yeah. nearly this cool. 
Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Good life. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I love that reveal at the end of her thing, um, at the end of their, her GI Joe segment and how she's sort of like, yeah, the other guys don't know that I'm doing this, but here we go. Okay. Bye. Exactly. Moving on. <laughs> here, here's a, here's a little extra tidbit for you. It was, it was wonderful. Um, so, you know, got to hand it to Emily for th throwing us a bone and giving us that uh, fun extra piece of information. Um, it's awesome that so you guys got to be there. Do you want to recap really on cool. any of this? It was it was great. I you know I haven't been to WonderCon and oh my god it's been ages. Um, you know Super Seven was there, but they just had like a sales booth. There wasn't any product on display. Yeah. Uh, I think Fresh Monkey Fiction was there if I'm not mistaken, but again just just like selling stuff. There wasn't any like product on display by the vendors, um, and a lot of the the vendors were mostly like modern. Um, uh, product that you can like buy online and there was a few pieces but I, I was kind of excited to do some like vintage toy hunting which I didn't get to uh -huh. do much of um, and then uh, Michael my husband and I head over to Frankenstein's after because <laughs> I was sure. like we didn't get our vintage yeah. fixed so we went, we went shopping afterward which that is a makes lot of fun sense. like I said we got to hang out with Joe Joe Coleman and Jason Tran two of our awesome uh, toy habits viewers and members um, so they were, they were really cool to get to meet them in person. It's always fun to get to meet, uh, you know, people in the community in person. Um, Absolutely. so that was, that was great. Yeah. And, um, you, you said, are you a turtles collector at all? I, no, not I'm not. I was as a kid. I, I have, I now have some turtle representation, but I've gone in a very mm -hmm. weird direction with, uh, rage toys, which is a third party company. And there's another one yeah. that's just very different. That said, yeah, um, I am very familiar <laughs> with skincare and pores, so I I <laughs> yes. would love to talk about these figures. And I generally try to say positive. Did you like, to them? I think they need some like oil of a lay or something because <laughs> I will try their pores my best are to out of positive. control. But man, there's <laughs> something going on with these figures right here. Let's go. <laughs> Yes. Thank you. So, you know, I want to, first of all, thank Pixel Dan for um, acquiring this photo. He mm -hmm. did the extra, went at the extra mile, contacted Playmates directly, talked to their mm -hmm. PR department and said, hey, can I get some more information? Can I get a better, mm -hmm. higher res image? Because when this was uh, shown originally, it was like a stand at this event um, that was kind of like a flyer that someone took a picture of. Um, and again, uh, I want to give um, credit to where credit is due. It was at Adventures in Collecting, the AIC podcast, who originally took the picture. And it was at the Toy Insider Spring Fling event. Um, but the uh -huh. picture was very grainy and it was hard to see what the articulation was like and kind of the skin color we thought they were. It had kind of texture, but it was hard to tell. So Pixel Dan didn't get too much information out of Playmates, but he did get this photograph. He did find out that their retail price will be $12.99, uh, but that skin is just, it's out of control. We'll talk about the articulation <laughs> in a minute, but uh, what is up with this? I mean, they they look like frogs, <laughs> like they're in inverted bumps, right? Because it, it looks like the texture is like, or they have like a really yeah, bad- I don't know what kind of frogs something. you have. Yeah, I was going to say, a I couple know, of things came out from there's a couple it's, things. It's like out. an inverted <laughs> frog, right? The skin's inside out because it's it's going the other way. <laughs> First <laughs> off, I like feel turtles. no. I feel like if I put too much pressure on them, all sorts of weird stuff would come oozing out, and maybe it's yeah. mutagen. <laughs> Number two, <laughs> um, yeah, maybe they were just really leaning in to the teenage part of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because these yeah. guys. <laughs> these guys have some and so I, I you know i'm not sorry i'm now being crass but no, listen it's just a it's a weird strong. it's a weird look and so this is where, where i I'll, I'll try and put my rational hat for a second um it's it seems like a, something was off in the art direction because if you look at these they're very cartoony and i don't know how much you can zoom in and it's okay if you can't but if you were to zoom in on those the um the the blindfold sort of headband things Right. Yes. Uh, if they were going for a more realistic oh, sorry, aesthetic, guys. it's cool. If you're going more for like a photorealistic aesthetic, 
we would mm-hmm. probably see like stitching or threading like we often do and say like we were just talking about G.I. Joe classified yeah. on the clothing yes. or whatever, right? But if you look at that, yes. it's real flat. Like, you know, clear it's a plastic toy based on a draw hand-drawn illustration. But then it's like someone didn't get the memo mm-hmm. on the skin and decided to go super photorealistic, <laughs> like hyper detail. So it just, it doesn't match up. You know what I mean? Like it's it feels yeah. wrong. Yeah. And I think that's that's yeah. what's happening, right? So- um you know (laughs) if if for some reason those scarves are even more detailed and maybe they're going photorealistic admittedly i'd still say it's really weird looking but you know i think it's worse like on on donatello right because you can see his skin's darker but you know what it reminds me of i don't know know, know, if you guys ever did this he does he does like (laughs) if you were younger or whatever maybe you know those little acne pore strips like you know, the little, or yep. like the little clear Biore. strips when you try and get the like, blackheads off your nose and yeah. you kind of like yeah. zoom in on the, on the yes. mirror and you see all yes. the little pores like right there. Well, that, it's like that times saying. 100, like all over the yes. skin. You know? <laughs> like, yes. Someone, like, that's what I was like, saying. I feel like, like if you squeeze like, it, it's like, psh, yes. Ooh. Anyway. Yeah. No, so totally. That, that's it's it it's just an odd look. Bright side? Yes. Bright side. Well, I'll just offer some bright sides. We're getting... Okay, sure. bright side is if you go past, uh-huh. past, you know, we can make all the acne jokes we want to. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah, go totally. past, <laughs> past the the clear cell issue that they're having here, um, they are very nicely articulated. There's a couple of little <sighs> gripes about the articulation, but yeah, they're much better, kind of origin, a la origin esque type articulation for these more classic. You know, I guess we had. Uh, five points of articulation on the old vintage turtles. We do have, mm-hmm. you know, shoulder articulation. It looks like there's a single uh, elbow joint at the elbow pad. Um, there are, their wrists don't have the um, articulation that that hinge up and down, but they do look like they turn in circles, which is great. Um, they have articulation at the knees. It looks like a single knee joint under the knee pad, but that's, you know, still yet to be determined. You can kind of make out the little um, uh, peg there. But the only thing that is a little bit of a bummer is they don't have ankle articulation. Their legs, their feet just like swivel and it kind of breaks yes. up the sculpt right there. Um, right. But there is no no hinge at the elbow. So if you want to kind of stand them in a cool action pose, they'll probably tip over, right? Because you can't yeah. tilt the ankle at all. So that's a it little bit not, of a miss. It's a bad design for articulation. It's almost like if you're going to do that, you shouldn't yeah. have done it at all because it just doesn't make sense. Yes. Like you said, it breaks up the sculpt and mm-hmm. it's not going to help you in terms of posing or anything. It's not doing anything. Exactly. But so they're always so that's, like in that kind of tight tilt. <laughs> yeah. And so it, it it's odd. This whole this release in it particular is, is odd because I think the, the blueprint's there, right? Just go back to Origins. Yeah. What if we exactly. re release? our old figures, but add this modern articulation as best we can, given the buck style. They could have totally mm-hmm. done that, but they, something got weird. I'll go yeah. back to bright side. Those, those um, platforms and oh, that they, they have that kind of connect together. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. I even like, yeah. I like, I like that the weapons again for this more modern thing, isn't just a single colored plastic that, and it's kind of cool yeah. that they're color coordinated to the, to the, um mm-hmm. to the turtle. Yeah. So yeah. is this a, is, does this look like real it, chain metal to you? Right? I, um, I think so. I'm not it's sure. It's hard to tell. I, it doesn't, it doesn't look like that. I'll try you know, look on my computer. That plastic. So uh-huh. it kind of looks like it's chain to me, which is if it is, you know, bravo to playmates for that for that little bit of extra uh detail in there and, and oh it does, it totally things. does. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. they look like links. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, they look like links. And, you know, I love that their stands are all different. Um, yep. You know, he's got like some little, like, it looks like an air conditioning unit and like a little skylight. And there's like a, a railing over here. And I can't tell what's behind Donatello, but each yeah, of their stands are they, a little different. They, they look like they're modular. I'm pretty yeah. sure they're modular. So, like, if you look at um, Leo's left foot and that little sort of vent mm-hmm. thing, and then you go over mm-hmm. to, to Raphael's left foot, there's a peg there. Do you see that? Yes. I'm pretty yes. sure you can slot yes. in these different pieces, which is still really yes. brilliant. Like that, that's a really cool Absolutely. solution. You even got the little yeah. vent right there. <laughs> it's neat. Yep. So to it's answer, really cool. yeah. I, I I mean, I the nitpicks aside, I'm happy they're doing this. Uh, I think they're gonna be a one-off. I don't think it's gonna be like a new toy line. 
But uh, Legends, Legend, to answer your question, these are going to be sold separately, not as a four pack, because we were told they're twelve ninety nine each. And unfortunately, can I go sad trombone? Like, wah, 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 they will be <laughs> Walmart exclusive. So there were two different sets of turtles oh, that were fine. revealed at this that's event. Cute. Um, you know, the, the sketch turtles were from Target, and these cool classic turtles are going to go to Walmart. And I only say sad trombone because they don't have a good mm -hmm. distribution, and things are Walmart exclusive are harder to find. Maybe they the are. TMNT stuff will be they easier because they do kind of clog the shelves with TMNT at Walmart. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. Uh, and uh, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else to touch on before we wrap up. Uh, you know, we did get some new WWE reveals. And uh, unfortunately, if you ordered Wave 6 of the G.I. Joe um, uh, Ultimate so line from Super 7, it looks like they didn't get enough orders for that. You know, of course, they have a minimum order quantity, but that wave has been canceled. And though, Oh, yeah. One thing I did want to touch on. I went on a little scavenger hunt last night uh, on a tip <laughs> about uh, Merman <laughs> to a certain store that he's supposed to be showing up at. Uh, and I unfortunately did not get Merman, but was able to um, uncover that Krang, Turtles of Grayskull, is showing up oh, in cool. stores or being shipped in stores cool. currently at Walmart. So if you haven't got a Krang, because I know a lot of people missed out on the Collector Con, um, Crank should probably start showing up um, in stores at Walmart. So, um, it, you know, the, the the information I got, the SKU was kind of shared, um, but uh, Crank should start showing up on shelves. And um, and the other thing that did hit uh, for pre-order yesterday was Wave 2 of Legends of Dragon War. Uh, not sure if you are collecting this line, um, but the new Wave 2 figures are out. Uh, uh, there is an army builder in there. Uh, I really love the 5.5 uh, style, like Motu style figures. Um, so I am I am into this line. I'm collecting them. I'm trying to cherry pick um, this next wave just because, you know, shelf space, et cetera. Uh, but there's I some, think that, some, some cool things in this. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a it. really, really great line. I, I love the the Dragonor figures. Mm -hmm. I love the designs. And so I'm, yeah. you know, and I tend to lean these days a lot into the sort of indie toy world and yep. just love that you know people are yep. creating these new things so yeah i dig it yeah so i, I went ahead and, and placed my pre-order but um they're up on big bad toy store they're on formotoys.com mm -hmm. um they are selling them individually or in entire waves um so we've got this chief talon which is this really cool um indigenous uh character with with an awesome yeah. you know like wings and mask they've got this horrid Dama, which is uh, obviously a witch, and she's really cool because mm -hmm. she comes with a uh, um, a broom that she can ride, and she even has an alternate yeah. head. She has like a scary face, which I'll, I'll show you in a second. There's this really cool caveman, and he also comes in a three pack with different mm -hmm. cavemen. So he's an army builder. Uh, so it's a bruter br caveman. There's Arborist, this cool tree guy, um, and then we've got Venetia. Which is like kind of like a more you know native kind of um, uh, woman character, and then this really cool Tereptor, which looks like a lizard man, um, which is mm -hmm. awesome. I mean, I think the sculpts are incredible. It's great that they're doing that, and then they're including the. Um, sorry, my computer is stuck for a second. I cannot mm -hmm. uh, scroll. <laughs> um, they they are including the build a figure uh, pieces in this wave. So if you get each of the figures in the wave, and I can't scroll down for a second, I'll let my computer catch up um it will create a build a figure um which i am having trouble eh, is that the dragon build, well, which is the build a figure for this no, no. the dragon is actually separate so the dragon already went up for pre-order if you want to pre-order him you can get him at big bed oh. toy store and yes but the build a figure looks similar yeah. yeah it's a divine armor it's a little bit mm -hmm. different design it's got more of this kind of pastel -y colors too. I'm just reloading the article because my other page uh, got stuck. Um, so it's it's this character right here. He looks pretty cool. And um, each of those will come packed uh, one piece with each of the figures. But the neat thing they're doing is that this Caveman Army Builder set, it's going to retail for um, 
$80 for the set of three. The individual figures um, are uh, $35 a piece, but you can't get these two guys individually, just this caveman. And then uh -huh. there's a $15 weapons pack, which I think is really cool. So I did pre-order that. And those all fit, I'm assuming, really well in Origins hands too? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and you know what else I'm going to use them for? Before. I've been actually getting into vintage, uh, like Remco figures from like back That's in right. the day from the 80s. Um, yep, and I'm yep. missing a ton of accessories on those because they're super expensive. So I'm going to start filling out <laughs> some of those guys too. I think oh, they'll that's look great. great on like the world. Yeah. The yeah, armor so for this. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry. I was just going to say both for wave oh, one, oh. like that was the one that I wanted. I wanted that way, that armor, yeah. but it was like, Oh, it's a build a figure from wave one. And, and this yeah. one, they're, they're so like clearly Jack Kirby riffs, right? They're like yeah. straight out of his, his Lords of light kind of um, concept art. Is. Um, mm -hmm. but, oh, that thing is so cool. Like, now that uh, I'm looking I, at I, it close up, I, I didn't it. order all the figures. Now I'm going to like, have to go back and order the rest. <laughs> I was going to cherry pick and I was like, damn, now I'm like looking at him again and he looks really cool. <laughs> and this is truly a, um, it's a build a figure, right? Like it's, it's yes. own separate pieces. Cause I, they kept talking about the, 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 the conceit that like, it's the armor that your character wears, but. It's just a, it's a it's, figure. It's actually the sneak and the storyline behind it, but basically yeah. with the wave one, each of the figures were packed with like either like a head or an arm okay. or the torso or the waist or the legs. So they, and they all pop in very easily um, together. So it's, it builds very nicely. Uh, I think my favorite out of this wave is uh, Chief Talon. He looks awesome. Uh, really yeah, loved he's, he's uh, this character. And you know, you're talking about your um, new sort of Remco thing. The, uh, Mm -hmm. Tereptor <laughs> looks straight yeah. out of the old Remco toys. Can I, I love it. Can I flip my camera over? I don't know if you guys are going to be able to, to see them. Do you see them right there on the shelf? Uh, I'm gonna sort of. I kind of see it based on the silhouette, but oh. if you can solo your screen, there you go. Hold on. Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at those. Yeah, so man, those are great. I remember those in the stores. The and and like Hercules and, yeah, the Warlord. I got one but from I have Chucky a feeling there's some Motu weapons and some other stuff up in their hands because yeah like, i just couldn't i couldn't get i couldn't get them uh you know complete they're just hard to find even in, in that shape but um that's cool you know, i love I getting love into kind of like these more independent toy lines and and more mm -hmm. obscure like vintage figures and kind of building out like collection with some meat yeah know? that's fun Very. man that's that's really great yeah and it's so cool that these are going to slot yeah. right in your flip is going to slot right in look at that mm -hmm. the head sculpt on this guy looks awesome Oh, that's cool. looks great. I love that. Yeah, I he's the master he's got versions of these. Of these <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you caught that, but I'm like, know, oh, yeah, right. right. I, I want, I want these. I as did. Figures. <laughs> as bigger oh, figures wow. and master. I, I mean, I love, I love the the 5.5 like stature, the scale of it. It, it yeah, just, it's yeah. so much fun. Um, this character is really cool too. She's got so much detail. Well, I mean, look yeah. at the the paint on her face and her armor her headdress and it looks like she's even got like chain you know like um actual chain on her accessories as well so she looks she looks absolutely great yeah yeah that's actually chain metal and now these don't Damn, have, have um yeah i know you're gonna you you're gonna have to get them you're gonna have to get that look at that that head sculpt Whew. that is gorgeous i know mm. yeah these these would be great. If I were doing Origins, it would be so cool to have these alongside of them with a Remco. And these these definitely yeah. feel very nostalgic too because they don't have they don't have elbow or knee articulation, correct? No. No. They they're don't. cool. Great, yeah. great stuff. Great stuff. Beautiful. They're, they're, they don't, and they're they're great because they're so solid and well built and they don't have like the leg band issues. So they stand very well. Um they feel like really good in your hand, like they're nice, like chunky, solid figures. Um, yeah. <laughs> this this witch is really cool because she can she can ride on the broomstick. Um, and what I wanted to load up was her head turning feature um, in a second. And again, I apologize that this is this is dragging, but um, she has a scary witch face too, which is really cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So I thought that was that was pretty neat that they included that with her. <laughs> yeah, she looks like a little ghoulie from, from back in the days. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really awesome. It. See, there she is. 
Um, it would be neat if they had, if they threw in like a little flight stand with her, but uh, she doesn't come with one. But um, yeah, the place like of that thing is a little. I know, right? <laughs> we won't we won't comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Oh, yeah, uh, but yeah. Awesome. Yep. It's a cool line, oh and God. and I love that. I love I'm loving yeah. seeing the the indies kind of just you know building on a, a certain piece of nostalgia and the form factor and all that. I know when these started, yeah. they were very much like based on like the original name of the line was wasn't it Lords of Power or something like that? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Triggered those. Um, <laughs> that triggered. And that then, triggered the balloons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and but then they totally uh, they they were hit up by mm -hmm. Mattel to kind of make a shift, and they did, yeah. and they ended up with this. And frankly, yeah. I, I think they ended up with something even better, their own sort of unique take. They did. And, and I love that. It's it something pushed, new for it people the to. Of the line, the lore. Um, have you have you ordered the dragon? I did pre-order that red dragon, uh, Egotar. I haven't gotten any of these. So cool. Thanos oh God, is the so one cool. who's been getting these, and I'm like, oh, those are so. If, you, cool. if you're ever in the LA area, of Rick, I'm gonna make you come tour my toy room. Oh yeah, and you can check these out in person, and you're gonna I fall will. In love because yeah, you're you're not far so from where cool. my folks live. So. Yeah, yeah. So you know, these are um, in, in, incredible. And um, these cavemen are really cool. If you're into army builders, they've got, mm -hmm. they're, they're unique. Each one is not the same. So they do have different head sculpts, but yep. they did change kind of like their, um, you know, their loin costs or whatever. Um, they, these are, mm -hmm. I think the same, but this, this guy has his loin cloth going the other way with like a little knife in there. They've got different uh, accessories. Um, yeah, they're great. It's a great toy line. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, these are really neat. So that's gonna slot in really nicely. And then um here we have Mossman's cousin, Arborus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this tree guy, he's, he's really them. cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He looks great. So just you know, the sculpts on these are are incredible. And then there's this lizard, this lizard guy, which is awesome. And he's so he's different than the dragon. The dragon is actually a much taller figure. He yep. comes with a, um, you know, a, a saddle. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that playing on my ad here? Oh my gosh! I'm sorry, guys. Oh, we can't hear it. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's, it's not playing through here. Okay. But yeah, yeah no. And, and, up the, on my and the dragon can kind of lay down and sort of be upright as well. Mm -hmm. I saw, and they, they look cool. So you can you can saddle your figures on them to sit as a a beast, or he can be. An actual character on the dragon, so not this one. This is this is an actual character, <clears throat> um, which is really cool. And ter terror or something or other. What was his name? Ter Rap Raptor. Rap um, he's really neat. I like okay. you know his coloring looks great. This one totally reminds me of one of my Renko warrior beasts that I have. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Got a mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, when um, I saw this with Raptor, I thought it was Raptorx, but Re Raptor. Yeah. Um, that's totally what I thought. I was like, oh my god, that totally looks like an old school Remco design Remco. with a little bit more yeah. detail. Yeah, of course, but but it still calls back to that. And you, you can see the dragon like in the background here, who's got like chest yeah. armor and the big wings, and um, so those those look great. Uh, yeah, and, and there's you know there it is. There's a dragon. Look at that big old beast. It's huge, and you can ride. You can put your figure riding on them. So it's like neat because now you have like a a, a beast vehicle or whatever to to pose your figures on so these are wonderful if you haven't checked out legends of dragon or um check them out we have all the coverage on our website on those and um yeah yeah I mean, and it's alice great. is pointing out um, that's a good reminder because i was yes. saying you know that they, they originally they were called lords of power and that was because they were working with mark taylor um yes. on these right and so and allison was pointing out a little bit before that one that um mm -hmm. that they're still pulling from his concepts and his concepts. they're great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're, they're really great. Yeah. I mean, he's clearly and pulling I'm from other sources, but still, cause okay. I, I see the reference. I totally see the reference. Even that, that um, you said Moss man's cousin is very much like uh, some of these uh, fantasy characters that I've seen before yeah. with the, the leaves and, um, but they're really well done. Mm -hmm. And again, that Kirby stuff, whew, yeah. I need those figures. I need oh, those as yeah. maybe like they're, 10 inch figures. Cool. Those would be great. <laughs> They, they are incredible so totally you should check it out um and i was just gonna say i want to apologize to chat if i haven't had a chance to check back in with the comments um because i'm yeah. actually 
uh, controlling all of the the dials here. Brooke has no control over it. Yeah. Usually, me and I'm Michael. I'm just chilling. So my apologies. I'm like, gonna <laughs> not be able to multitask as much as I wanted to check in with the chat comments. Yeah. Um, but you guys have been great. <laughs> and and Brick, it's been so amazing having you on as well. Um, it's oh, always man. fun to talk toys, and I love your point of view uh, in your insight, Thank you. um, which is wonderful. I appreciate that. Um, I love being here. I love the channel. So. You, you, you're incredible. Thank you so much. No, um, no. I, if you guys, well, before, uh, give me. I just want to say, I love the channel. Please. I love what you guys do. I love how, like, so you all, you heard her say this, but before we started, the reason we were late was she was working on, you know, this article, and I've been on streams with her elsewhere where. We're learning something real time and she's putting up an article right away. So like the website is dope. Like I was sitting here on this over here on this side, looking at them and it's mm -hmm. like, Oh my God, all this information is here. It's perfect. Like what a great way to do a show. So big ups to you and to Michael for all the work you do and all the, the leaks you all keep getting. And the it's, it's Thank really you. cool. So toy habits, super special. This whole time I've been wanting to say toy habits. I keep hearing that. So, yeah, and a big, could, a big shout out to Michael. <laughs> yeah, out Michael to and Michael's brother. Michael's brother for that cool music. Yeah, that yes, would be my only. Yes. That would be my suggestion. This is my suggestion. If you could find a way to every now and then just trigger that music just for fun, that I great. know. I, you know what? We can we can do it now if you guys want to sit through it one more time. Since we're, I'm gonna do it. I'm it. gonna do it. And before we go live, smash that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss a beat. Yeah, man. Just get the audio file, you know put it in the stream say? yard, and just boom. I should. You know what I was going to say is I actually cannot hear that while it's playing. Oh, on I'm your lying. end. Oh, I can't okay. hear it. So you guys get all jazz. You get to like be pumped up and hear like the Toy Habits theme song. And on my end, it does not play out loud. So I never get to hear it, which is totally a bummer because I want to get like jazzed up along with you guys. Um, All right. Well, after I the stream, let's talk about it. I have an idea for how you can yeah. do it because it's great. Okay. As people are putting in the chat, people are like, I love it. It's catchy as F because it is. It's really great. Uh, Mint with card is saying, I randomly sing the theme song and my husband laughs. Yeah, I, and I did that. So I've got to hang out with Michael a couple of different times. And the last time we yeah. were hanging out with the other folks, it's like, I can't help it. Every time I say toy habits, I got to go toy habits. Cause it's, toy habits. Yeah. yeah, you you got to recently hang out with the guys. Um, oh yeah. When, uh, when Tom was in town, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. Two weeks ago. Which is it was great. Fun, right? uh, I think it was a couple weekends ago and yeah, we, uh, Ken mm -hmm. was in town. Chris shiny plastic people was yeah. in town. We got to go up to yeah. Sacramento and it's great. And and he took us to um, awesome. another shop that I didn't even know about. So it was it was a good mm -hmm. day, and, and I escaped without spending That's much right. money too. So, oh, you know, it's funny because like Michael didn't really buy anything the whole weekend we were together. We we went to to WonderCon, um, uh -huh. spent the weekend there. We went to Frank and Sons, and then uh, the next day I took him to Burbank. Uh, to go toy hunting unfortunately it was easter sunday and i forgot like all the uh, stuff was closed and i was like darn yeah. it so we didn't get to go to my favorite collector shop out there but i did find another new one i think it's called Ooh. like universal classic toys in burbank another shop and i did find some cool stuff there did some toy hunting um you never know what you're gonna find i, I would love to do some toy hunting videos at some of these local stores uh, but we had a, we had a lot of fun it was it was great and i threw some photos up in my toy haul that weekend um so it was wonderful but i want to give a big shout out to my partner michael who couldn't yes. be here today he's spending the weekend with his family uh but michael works tirelessly he's an amazing partner he's a lot of fun to work with could never have done any of this without him and i want to give him a huge thank you for giving me the opportunity to do this with him as well um so michael you are amazing uh wonderful partner uh hope you're having fun out there today and um, just love doing this with you I wanted to point out to everybody the incredible resource that toyhabits.com is. Um, again, we have all the shop pages here with links to all of your favorite figures to easily find everything. But mm -hmm. the neat thing also that I wanted to point out was, uh, and we have Delta 17 shop coming soon, um, just to help uh, link that over to, um, to Delta 17 once that launches. 
But the cool thing is that we wanted to build a resource for you guys, not only to go and take a look at breaking news, but to look at things that, you know, maybe you just want to get more information on or um, see see closer things about. So there's this, this little uh, magnifying glass, and I point this out once in a while. It's at the top of our website. It's right above the logo, right up here. And if you click on that and type in anything you want, so I'm going to put like Masterverse uh, Cyclone, we'll just for an example, and it'll bring up all of the articles that we mentioned that in. So, um, and I guess it's because I did not put a hyphen in there. So it'll start pulling up all these relevant articles. So if there's something that's been, you know, we covered a while back, you don't feel like flipping through our pages and pages in each of the categories. You can easily find quick links to the articles there. We do have categories for all our stuff, Motu, G.I. Joe, Star Wars, Thundercats, everything on the top of the page. But that yeah. little, I can't tell you how many times this magnifying glass has saved us because we go back and reference previous articles we've done when we're writing things up. So we want to uh -huh. get information and that's a quick way uh -huh. to go ahead and find that. So um, you can always take a look at that. And um, you know, we do all this to make collecting funner for all you guys to take the, the hassle and the stress out of it, to bring you all the latest news, keep the toy community connected and um, just, you know, make it fun to do yep. our hobby yep. that we love because the last thing we want this to do is be a frustrating process for you guys. So we're hoping. We're yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's great. Yep. Love toy awesome. habits, toyhabits.com. Toy habits. And also you guys, if you haven't checked it out, check out brick something's channel. He does an Ooh. incredible job. Um, when are your normal YouTube's, <laughs> videos you do uh, your live streams, streams on sunday I do sunday right now the next three weeks they'll be at 4 30 p.m pacific is when i'm starting but i'm moving a little bit earlier after that 3 45 p.m um actually it's partially so i can watch you guys because sometimes you're going in on sundays and there's like all sorts of things going on so look for the best thing to do would be to just head over to brick something uh actually if you go to brick something.com it should you right to the youtube and the other oh, thing nice. I, if Hey, I want to highlight is that I've been working um, really closely with one of my favorite toy lines, and that's Animal Warriors of the Kingdom with Spiro. And so we've been oh, really, I've helped sort of um, organize this, this series of live streams where we're kind of been all over Toy Tube lately um, for the straight two weeks, and we're going to keep going. The campaign ends on April. Do you want to go ahead and check? Do you want to share anything? Um, I'll give you a uh, moment. <laughs> sure. That would be thank you. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let me go yeah, ahead and bring please. it. Oh, and I'm actually, as yeah, thank you. Um, but yeah, if you're not familiar of with course. Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, um, it's a great toy line. Do you have any? If you don't, I'm gonna get you some because I if I it's do. one of those things I where you get, okay, great. So you're familiar. They're doing a Kickstarter right mm -hmm. now, and let me go ahead and share that. Thank you. Um yeah. Do, 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 do. The Kickstarter has been going I, I since um, March sixth. Mm -hmm. uh, Go for it. Yeah. I, oh, I went ahead and um, yeah, shared it. Oh, if, let me see if, if I can. You can. There cool. we go. Yes. So the, the Kickstarter the has king. been going since March 6th. This is where we're at. We hit, I think, after day five or day six, hit that first goal, oh, wow. and now we're just trying to blow past that so we can unlock some stuff. Initially, it was trying to unlock four brand new bucks. So just like Dragon Ore, right? We were talking about this is an indie mm -hmm. line, small company. No one's had these figures uh, up until last February, 2023. Mm -hmm. So this is a really new line. Here we are in year yeah. two going back with a Kickstarter. And we're trying to unlock four new bucks initially, four new body types. Mm -hmm. But with the Kickstarter, we've sort of revealed that actually the real plan is to unlock seven brand new body types in total if we can oh, hit wow. all the tiers. Look so at that. Here you elephant. go. That's yes. <laughs> yes. So that is General Mamba. And I'm just going to quickly go through. You'll see stuff has been unlocked. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tease it here. If you want to look it up over on um, Kickstarter, you can kind of see. I'm going way too fast. Sorry. But okay. there's lots of different no. body types. And um, so we got dogs, we got, you know, uh, we've got the women, finally, it took us so long. Well, technically, it's only the second year of the figure line's life, 
but still way too many waves and we're finally getting some women i was teased with the alternate head uh recently on this one and oh let me tell you some good stuff coming we've got uh lions you know all of them we got bunnies yeah. There's cyborg foxes, but I'm just going to scroll down. Yes, there are um, birds. Yes, mm -hmm. see-through figures. Ooh, is that uh, a translucent funny. figure I see up there? That's, I was just going to say, there's a translucent Ooh. figure. You always get me um, a translucent, man. <laughs> I love that stuff. If, we've got birds coming. We've got uh, this cardinal what? that has a loop. Oh, my that God. That half and cardinal is so cool. I love that. Beautiful. I love it. It is. You know, we've got this guy, and then I know I'm just going to scroll down. Yeah, hey, Ox, this guy. Um, and that unlocks at 410,000. Um, this is the last week and a half or so. It ends April 17th, a couple days after, you know, hopefully we get our tax refunds. And, hey, if you want to treat yourself, <laughs> consider going to the AWOC. Thing. And I anyway, I just wanted to... <laughs> Sorry. And so um, if you go to my channel... And you go mm -hmm. into the community tab, you'll sort of see all of the different things that we're doing. So, for example, nice. sorry, this oh, is what's good. happening. So right now, uh, oh, no, oh, it's not listed here. Right now, um, Jason, the creator, is talking with Shardimus Prime. Tomorrow will be on Adam, uh, highly articulated channel, at 2 p.m. Pacific. And then um, I'll do my stream at 4.30. And then we'll be back on Geek Dad Life. And I think there's more nice. this week. So that's it. Thank you for that little segment. And thank oh, you for having God. me here, dude. Seriously. And thank when you. I go down there, you. <laughs> my family um, now lives in Pasadena. So I know that's just oh, okay. east of you. Not too far so, from me. Yeah. When I get down there, we'll hang out. That's the plan. The, yeah. the last time, the, I just need to make sure that I, that I go on a day when Frankenstein's open so that we can go there. I know it's only like that. Wednesdays, yeah. Saturdays and Sundays, right? If I'm not mistaken. And that Burbank store that you mentioned, and there's another store you mentioned, we got to hit those up. Yeah. They're both in Burbank. Um, okay. One of the stores, which is great. The, like the bigger one is not open on Sundays. It's only, it's open the rest of the week, but they're closed on Sundays, which yes, whatever. Like, it's wonder. It's wonder when people have fun to like go shopping one of the weekend days, but um, go figure. They're not open on Sundays, mm -hmm. but uh, they're a great store called Blast from the Past. That's on Magnolia Boulevard. If you're in the area, check them yeah. out. But they're closed Sundays. Uh, but they're a wonderful shop. I I do go collecting there quite often. I did. I bought something there today. I forget what I got. Um, oh yeah, I left it in the star. It was a it, in the car. It was a Brave Star. Um, I think Tex Bex or something like that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, but they have really great vintage toys there. Uh, my, one of my favorite stores to go to. We don't have a lot of vintage toy stores in the LA area, unfortunately. You with have the exception with ginormous Frankensons. But, yes. you know, as far as kind of local stores, they're very far and few between. Um, mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's kind of, you know, and Frankensons is an hour away from me. Uh, yeah. So it's, it, you know, I go there once in a real while. Uh, but it'd be great to have like some some wonderful local uh toy shops to go toy hunting and um i you know I, I watch all those toy hunting videos and you know it seems like the midwest has a lot of them and, and they do <laughs> i love i love like you know all the cool things that you get to find out there because that's kind of like the heart of a lot of the toy companies were out there yet um yeah you know hasbro and kenner and you know yep. uh, lots of uh amazing vintage toys and you never know what you're yeah doing. and unfortunately allison's making cracks about la but the reality is it's just expensive <laughs> here so it's expensive it to own a storefront and and so yeah. that's the biggest challenge that's what happened up here um and so mm -hmm. so we just don't have them and you know it's cheaper mm -hmm. to run a business and to rent a spot in other parts of the country so we just got to travel yeah. more yeah so yeah. thank I you mean, yeah and and again um please check out brick something's channel he does incredible work you are so much fun to watch um so <laughs> talented and uh super knowledgeable about all the subjects you talk about i love listening to your conversations so please check out brick something and it's been an honor having you as a co-host on our show thank you so yeah. much for filling in for michael 
Um, you are the best. And if you're ever again in the LA area, I'd love for you to come by and visit. We can hang out. We can go do some toy shop. Absolutely. Um, it's Let's still do it. a lot of fun. Yeah. And thank you to all of you who joined our show today. Everybody out there in the chat. Um, you guys are awesome. The crew keeps growing. And if you do want to join, head over to YouTube, to the Toy Habits channel on YouTube, on your desktop, and hit the join button on there. Um, and you can become a crew member. And it's just, it's so much fun to be part of the crew. And these guys are amazing. And we did get uh, those 10 crew uh, memberships gifted. I just want to run, roll through the chat. Did I, if I missed anybody else's, um, I think I got everything. But uh Thank you guys for joining and everyone have a fantastic time and we are going to be uh, peace out and we'll see you guys uh, <laughs> next weekend. Uh, Michael should be back um, and you never cool. know if something uh, tickles our fancy that's super exciting to talk about. We never know when we're going to pop up. But in the meantime, you can always go over to toyhabits.com on a daily basis. Whenever news drops, um, we are always updating that on the website and uh, that'll keep you informed on all of the amazing toy news and, and keep a lookout because we've got uh, more information, more Motu info coming. So they've got, they're, they're sitting on all sorts of information. I've seen these guys <laughs> at work. So you just wait. It's wild. Yeah. Respect. It's going to be wild guys. <laughs> all right. Well, enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Bye. That was awesome. Thank you so much.